Kimberly Sweet. Good to see you. Here we are back, Oregon it. Approaching the site. That I'd be damn, I think. You have your sneakers on? All right. You re ready? Dressed for movement? Right on. So. We're rocking it. It's a beautiful day for a walk on the beach, wouldn't you say? Yes, I would say that. Wish, wish I would say that. Uh, thanks to uh, anybody who sent me messages of support after the last stream. That was very, very kind. Uh, hey, how's it going? Very, very necessary. Killer. Whoa. Whoa. Dude, this mural, this guy. You see that? Incroyable. Wow. Pulling the wagon. Look at this. Wow, guys. No, they got the band shirt. <laughs> they, they, this is a newly formed band. It's truly. Called F. Siento. Well, we're going to go. I'm going to go in and grab a couple of snacks. Do you want me to get you some snacks? Are you going to go? Oh, here? sure. Yeah, yeah. Because um, you got the. Yeah, yeah. I've got, I've got the way going. I'll, I'll, I'll uh, we, we can uh, do a little switcheroo. So I can. Maybe, maybe not drag the way going all over people's feet in this. If you need to go in, I can watch this. Yes, you can, okay. but... Yes, you can. You're totally good. Right on. Well, how is exploring Austin? Beautiful. Hot yeah. as fuck, but beautiful. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, it's <laughs> I've a good... got all the back sweat and under sweat. <laughs> yeah, you've already put in a working like day. Miles, yeah. Excellent, excellent. So, Dan Walks LA is now Dan Walks Austin, and I'm okay yeah. with that. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, Dan Walks AU. So have you been past uh, the organization then? No, I, I actually went around it to the back street so they wouldn't see me. I didn't want to get myself up just yet. But just yet. I was so tempted. But right, right, I'm like, right. I'm like, no, 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 no. It needs to be an entrance with the Pearl Snappy and Selfless. Yeah, because, um, yeah, the, this is this is slightly different style than even the Los Angeles ones, I think. Certainly. They're, I mean, from what I've seen, they're, they're not as aggressive, but they... They, Nick think, is just a piece of work. They I make up for it in, in a special kind of arrogance, I think. That's rather than the really meanness. True. Although, you know, we, we did see uh, we did see the police in full force out last time. That is true. That is true. So but it's not Hollywood LAPD, so No. I feel way more comfortable doing it here than Agreed. Agreed. In because LA, so. because they they didn't want anything to That's do with exactly us. Right. They're like, we're not touching this. Absolutely not. You guys do, you have to do. At, yeah, completely. So, they wouldn't yeah, even really look at like, us. Get on the ground, you know. Right. Like, That's right. Well, yeah, completely in the pocket. Well, this exactly. seems more embarrassing. Way more. Yeah. And uh, I don't see any helicopters here. So. Oh no, that's the thing, you know. When the helicopters start circling, that gets that gets me going. You know. Yeah, like, very oh. low and very fast. At, you yeah. Know. I, I do feel a little naked because I don't have my sign. So, and I usually oh, wow. like having the sign to, to show the clear message. Correct, but, correct. You know, I got, I got you and Pearl Snappy. It's true. Who will be loud enough to convey said message. Oh, well, I right. see a sign there, here. Is a sign. Okay, there is a sign. I believe that you can use that sign. And you guys, we do have the bus. The, the Xenu Express is here. All the chalk tech. Megaphone. Yes, I have my squirrel hat. Little Davey! Oh my god, all the goods. Yeah, I hope we brought his veil. I, I, I remember... Oh, my switcheroo. Here we go. Here we go, y'all. Right. I'm gonna buy something. Sorry, y'all. Looking for something caffeinated. 
Didn't have what I want. Looking for some protein. Jesus. Seven ninety nine. Too much. Sorry, y'all. Almost there. Snurks. So y'all, what, what are y'all saying? Hey Heather. Yeah, Dan walks all over the all over the world seemingly. Hello, Zena Do. Good to see y'all. Welcome. We're making our approach. Slow today. A lot of activity. Good day, how you doing? Uh, no, I think that's all right, thank you. Seriously, from Boston. All right, I am. Nice trip. Good day. Okay, here we go, loop de loo on a Saturday night. Thanks for the pit stop. Everything. Yep, yep, yep. I'm so ready to party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. It's been a long time since you rock and rolled. Indeed. Well, last night I would call that rock and roll. Yeah, yeah, indeed. You provided vibes. Oh, we provided, yeah, we provided some fiery vibes. We misused fire energy for sure. I feel the energy coming back into my soul. <laughs> That's pretty great. There you go. <laughs> I have a... Uh, huh. I'm going to take all the niacin I, I, uh, so I can sleep with more Mongolians and so some more bandits in Mongolia. Bandits in Mongolia. Bandits in Mongolia. All right, y'all. I'm so sorry, I have my camera. All right. Yeah, he's got to cut it further. 
All right, matcha. Thank you, for, thank you all for your understanding and your patience. The moment you've been waiting for. Dun 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 Going orger. Fire Chiff. Oh. Oh, oh, they're radioing in. Yeah, yeah. Already. Amazing. Amazing. Oh, Shade Tech deployed. Quickly. You wouldn't want the public to know what's going on. Hello, everybody. Hi. Good to see you again. Oh yeah, afraid of ideas in the public. I guess anybody that uh, might disagree with your ideas, you've got to go wee 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 all the way home. How's it going clearing the planet then? We gonna clear the planet this way? I'm not sure. Let's go and uh, let's find the secret of happiness. Oh, it's the way, right? Because we got we got pretty far down this. Route. Take care of yourself. Be temperate. Don't be promiscuous. Love and help children. Total lie. Honor and help your parents. Set a good example. Seek to live with the truth. Do not marry. Do not do anything illegal. Support the government. Oh, wow. They've got this down to a drill. They're drilling it down. Yeah. Making sure. Making copies. Okay, okay. Are they joking? How to use Dianetics. Based on the works of L. Ron Hubbard. So they're like... How to think about Dianetics, how to read Dianetics, how to be Dianetics, how to eat the book Dianetics like a salad. It's, that might be one that they try to sell you. Oh yeah, interesting. Hey guys. Okay, so. Yeah, they're afraid. They're meant to be a religion changing the world, but uh, this, this looks kind of cowardly, I think. So, as you can see, once again, Shade Tech fully deployed. Shade Tech fully deployed. They're wrapped up, snug as a bug in a rug. All this stuff, look, didn't take long. As soon as we show up, and they had like half a dozen people doing it today. Hello there. Hi there.
bonfire. Bonfire recovery time, that's for sure. Yes. Yeah. 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 I promise I will be nice. I will take instruction. I promise. I will listen to Zoom ideas. Setting up a tripod. Hope everybody's doing well. How long till the security guards show up? He was, I know, that was a question. Yeah, he was here the whole time. Here the whole time. Even the birds know. Oh, they've put the JBL speaker now up on, uh, up on the ledge. So the speaker that they were terrorizing us with was skippy, scratchy, happy, dappy, awful music in violation of everything. Sorry, y'all. Getting set up. Thanks for the suggestion. Thank you for the suggestion, though. All right. I'll, I'll, I'm definitely following your orders, though. That wasn't sarcastic at all. Not at all. Wow, that door is so intermulated. Well, you know, you rush to open an org and you, you don't do the doors and hardware properly. You know. Door tech you, Per use. They messed that up themselves, though, by trying to. Oh, well, with a rubber mallet. Yeah, that it, fixing a door with a rubber mallet. That was that was the best. That was one of my favorites. Who you calling girl? As a construction person. Okay. So, let's uh Let's do this. Getting a mic set up. I'm gonna chalk it up a little bit today. I'll chalk it up to chalk. If you know what I mean, I don't. Maybe some of you could tell me what I mean. And it seemed like the mic was a bit loud on my voice. Uh, I was peeking it out last time, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to distance it a little bit more. That was a bit much. Yes, please. And you will not be disappointed. You will not leave empty handed. They can't make you. All right, can you hear me? Test one, two. Testing. Am I coming through the microphone? Check, check. Thank you, Kimberly. Thank you, Lorraine. Thank you, Christy. All right. Coming at you. Dare wear short shorts? Good. Yeah, don't give them any of your information. Because they will never leave you alone.
Good day. Hope you're well. Cool, cool. Sure is. Yeah, that's clear. Absolutely. Yeah, just letting the people know. Visual representation of how I feel. Oh, here we go. Beautiful day. Hell yeah. All right. So, uh, for people that don't know, we got tattoos. So, uh, we got tattoos, just plastic came off. What's that one? Needs to clean it up a little bit, so like a little adhesive stuff there, but uh, gonna elongate the line on the F a little bit, but I think it came out pretty great. So, uh, Yeah, cool. Thank you. This one's just crumbling. Maybe it's too dry. Should spray these down. <laughs> Where is everybody? Let's, uh, well, they were all, in the, in the all right. Yeah, so they can watch um, their unsuccessful, uh, you know, illegal calls and stuff that, you know. Yeah, yeah, he's... <laughs> Beautiful work, sir. Oh, yeah, you know, block letters. It's my specialty. But yeah, it seems like a regular guy, um, Mr. Muscles, Mr. Guy is not here to watch us. We have this uh, seemingly more put together individual who is, I mean, immediately he did try to um, inform us as to the sidewalk law. I think um, maybe that was trying to be helpful. Has a dodger, that's why we invited you. Come and dodger, that's you. Kids can't consent. Or us. Awesome. 
Thank you. That was very nice. They can't. Indeed. It's it's a boombox, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, those things are pretty loud too. Child auditing is a fuse. Get inside. Shut your cop door. Fuck. Yeah, you can't even shut a door. How are you gonna? How are you gonna clear the planet? Door phone. You might want to check that. Your your door has been completely interbulated. Your maintenance are escaping. Oh, but that's what they want to have happen. So much M theta out here. So little time, y'all. Hey, N theta and Satan. I mean, <laughs> you think they just uh, can't come up with oh, new okay. words? Oh, I mean, yeah. I didn't see it. To Mordor, we will take you. He's on the phone. I thought he was like, hey, look. Showing up for shift. Showing up for graduation. Dum, 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 dum. Dum, 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 dum. Pretty stupid. Oh. <laughs> you bet. Oh, yeah, you should feel the heat coming off the street. Can't touch this door. I mean, all the niacin, though, not just some, all of it. All the niacin. That's right. Every milligram of niacin. That's in the hizzy. I mean, you can take it, right? You're a superhero, or you're going to be. <laughs> Come out with your cans! I mean, I think we need some auditing where, you know, you could convince us all, come out here and uh, you could prove to the world that all of Scientology is actually an effective methodology for change if you just engage people rather than run. Good day. Hope you're well. Yeah, glue that MFR. Child auditing is abuse. And will very soon be prosecuted by the federal government. Oh, look out. This organization is going to fall hard, publicly, and ashamedly. I would get off this sinking ship. And anybody that's taking money from them, I would recommend doing anything else with your life than giving your time and taking money from a human trafficking cult that ruins lives. That goes for, I think, anybody giving them any amount of service or protection. <laughs> That's the best thing I've ever seen. Perhaps, you know, protecting Nazis is your thing, but, you know, these, these guys are fascists, you know.
All right, so. Uh, A little behind the scenes prep. All right, y'all. What y'all doing? Oh no, none of your notifications. That that sucks. Oh, thanks, Jacqueline. I'm glad you noticed. It's the important things, right? So that coffin says coffin dodger, if you didn't know. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. <laughs> You're getting some real good running. Real good lead. Yeah. Some Tokyo Drift with this bus. Woo! Woo! On the hop. <laughs> All aboard. I think that's pretty great. Whee! Can't dodge this coffin. It's wily. Let's go pick up some child traffickers. First stop, first stop. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Yeah, definitely don't give them any more of your time. I'm not sure what's in that bag, but it's not going to do you any good in this world. As uh, this is, um, this organization is a total fraud. That's weird. That's weird. You're great. Um. All right. It's going to be like battle bots. Two cars enter. Oh, uh, the the school bus is dragging a uh, it's dragging a coffin that says coffin dodger on it. Coffin. Yeah, RPF to get lower conditions. <laughs>
Yeah, I hope you feel really good working for a human trafficking cult today on this beautiful day. You could be doing anything else with your life, anything productive. Are we leaving shift? Yeah. Are we taking off now, buddy? Did we uh, traffic enough children for the day? It's quitting time. Miller time. <laughs> Gonna go drinking on the proceeds. Oh, you couldn't get auditing after that, but hello, how you doing? Take it on the heel and toe or the pedal. Yeah, have fun with that. All right. Breaking the laws, breaking the laws. No, but you know, here you go. No, they don't care. Oh, Laura, thanks for stopping by. Ah, all up in all your streams. That's right. Spreading the love, learning, and loving with all the streams. Kicking ass. Enough. It's going crazy with the cars here. <laughs> Show me trying to decapitate me. <laughs> oh no. It might no. happen. It might happen. Oh, we're having fun. On Scientology Speed Track today. <laughs> Bus is making the rounds. Coming up.
all of her social media. So that's Jamie Lotto, uh, right oh, here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I recognize her. Good day. Hope you're well. It's definitely a dangerous cult. Tell your friends. Smear away. <laughs> Smear away home. just do not know how to drive. Maybe it's making it worse. He's a group that OT9, not a thing. Nope. All right, y'all.
The bus. Kevin Jones, thanks. Fire B. Friday, Friday, Friday. It's a test of speed determination, ladies and gentlemen. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday at the Worcester Syndrome. We have Scientology bus. Coffin Dodger. And the Mike Render. David Miscavige Express. Coming at ya. Yeah, big big surprise, Mike Rinder losing his head. It's totally out of character. I guess so. <laughs> but I think she might even be pretending, you know. Oh. Hey girl. All aboard. Hip hip hooray. They could start a wave. But then I'll probably be told that you can't use the siren because it interrogates people, which, by the way, not the actual law that I signed. Feelings, though. People's feelings on the street, right? That's that's the law. Oh no! It's, it's worked into the coffin. No, it's just uh, it's well worn. This is this is now loved. I'm just making your arrows into eight point crosses. That's great. It points in all the directions. Correct. Woo! <laughs> Perfect clearance. <laughs> Perfect clearance, Clarence. Tire coming off. <laughs> oh, now that's in turbulation. I don't know what that is. I did not. Yeah. Well, gravity it happened. Gravity did that. I did not. It's pretty great. Do it. Wow. <laughs> Just wow. <laughs> what they do to pull this? I in? Would, right. Right. Oh my god, not Davy and Tom Cruise falling all over each other. Yeah, there's through smacking the all over one another. It's kind of gross. Oh yeah, please, come on.
and a daring dance between the two Scientology cars. Children cannot consent. Keep smiling, ladies. You're in a call. See you guys. Oh, I'm sorry if that offends certain people when I say see you guys. No, I'm going to stop saying it in your face. See you guys. I feel the magic between them and their people. Can Joby? Where's Can Joby? Do you see Can Joby? Wait, please. Somebody brought Ken Jovi to chat. What? Where is she? I haven't seen her. 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 I haven't should I go over there or? I got it. I got to do some chalking over there. Have fun in your cult, lady. Have so much fun. Oh, put your tea over there. You have to react, idiot. Oh, she's going to go. Oh, I do see her. She's right there. Her back is to us. Can Joby's here, you guys? Can Joby's here? Oh, wow. Who'd have thought it? They're just floating out the back here. Hey, y'all. Every, all, all the activity. Look at it happen. All right. So, yeah, when the, uh, when the cat is away, the mice will play, I see. All the activity in and out of the org. How's it going? You're in a child trafficking cult. Yeah, right. How about not? Ruining people's lives. Flip me the bird. Go right ahead. You can do that all the live long day. But the harm you cause. Far, far greater than any insult I could ever give you. All right, y'all. Kind of get a little scooped here. Uh, so they were trying to go out the back, and I'm guessing that's what they would do. I'm glad I've become the butt of so many jokes. Pun completely intended. He's showing presence and doing some chalk. Pretty cash. Kind of winding. Winding down. Trying to find my next step. Don't know what that is. Seems like I got some musical stuff going on. Coming up. Here. It should be interesting. I'll have some stuff to talk about soon. On that. Um, very, very exciting. Uh... Hopefully as well for the movement. We'll, we'll see what's up. Should be nice.
please don't give any more of your time, attention, or money to this human trafficking cult. If you want to help people, volunteer at a soup kitchen. Volunteer at a shelter. Volunteer at a school. There are plenty of people in the world that need your help, and this organization is not one of those things. So last time, we had the police here with long guns uh, for a weapons call. And uh, there was uh, tactical units, um, a uh, tactical supervisor uh, calling shots, plain clothes, guys that, you know, rank unknown. I didn't go over and uh, ask for ID for that guy. Maybe, uh, maybe next time. I was just a little surprised, and I think a bit overwhelmed for a second there, um, with disgust at uh, what American society is, and that this is, you know, this kind of police response for things like this is become part of it. Um, and just everything's, you know, every ridiculous thing Scientology is, um, and how they get away with stuff. Since you're not on camera, I can ask you a question. Oh. Who's the one in the Jeep? With the, I think that's the Sea Org uniform. Oh, you didn't hear them saying over and over again. No, I'm just curious. The dear leader. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, and there's like a little guy holding up behind him? Is that, what's that supposed to do? Uh, it's comedy, I guess. Oh, okay. Just to hold it in place? I guess. Uh, oh, I'm just curious. I like the bus. It's cool. Cool. Maybe don't do this job anymore. Maybe don't do this job anymore. Do you know what you're protecting? Do you know what you're working for? Protecting you guys also. I'm making sure. In no way, shape, or form. In no way, shape, or form, sir. In no way, shape, or form. <laughs> My lord. Your excuses are your own, sir. You choose to give your efforts to a predatory cult like this? What does it make you? You choose to support and protect evil. What does that make you? Evil deeds make what kind of a person? Pretty straightforward. Oh, it's just money. Oh, it's a job. I've heard that one. You know. Oh, but my family... What would they do if I didn't take this child trafficking cult money? Oh, God. What would they do? I'm really sick of all of that. I'm sick of the nicey nice stuff <clears throat> from these security guards who uh, watch all sorts of illegal stuff happen to us and laugh. And uh, just go along with all of this stuff, attempt to make friends, have conversations with us. When it is that they are completely here to work against ourselves, all of our efforts, and to maybe trip us up so that we make a mistake. Oh. 86 GOP, holy Moses. You overwhelm me. What, what okay, what, 
Wow, guys. Wow, y'all. So let's see if I can read this. The sun's going down. It's kind of hard. Um, so let's see. 86 GOP. $25. Great to see you out and about in Austin. Thank you very much. It's great to be out here. Uh, great town. Wonderful people. Terrible cult right here, but and then 86 GOP, $30, another 30 for that interaction. 86 GOP, thank you very much. I mean, you are you are so overly generous in this community. Your efforts are greatly appreciated. Really, thank you very much. Uh, thanks for showing up and saying what you say and giving so generously um, to multiple channels. Uh, but certainly, thanks for putting gas in my tank. Uh, gonna keep me, gonna keep me out there. Eric, great to see you. Great to see you, Eric. Thanks, thanks for the words of advice. Um, taken very much to heart. Um, yeah, I just, I, you know, I needed to hear other messaging, uh, other than what was going on in my head, and uh, yours and many other kind words were. Uh, Certainly a help. Have me out here uh, doing a little bit, doing a little bit better today. Oh wow! So, uh, oh maybe not, maybe not. Try again. Oh, they tried. That was close. They almost got out of the orc without without somebody commenting at them. Oh, no ideas, but they're masters of communication. But wait, it doesn't make sense. Wait, maybe none of this makes sense. <gasps> Revelate, dun, 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 Scientology. You know, hold the presses. Scientology doesn't make sense. You're on the streets of Austin. Some ridiculous fool just figured it out while riding Chuck on the street. I tell you, Scientology just doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense. Thank you all. So, I guess they didn't come back out that door. Got another letter or so in there. Thanks, y'all. Sharing the support for all the live streamers. Hit the like button. Thank you very much. Shouldn't that be a ramp instead of stairs? Well, yeah, I guess. Um, well, they do have, like, a floor-level uh, entryway in the back. I'm not sure what the... Uh, um, what the state regulations are as far as how many paths of egress for um, for disabled people, people in wheelchairs or uh, need any kind of mobility assistance. Um, uh, it's usually more than one. It's usually more than one. Yeah, so I guess they're not 
they're not they don't want to play over here anymore i don't know i there, there was so much activity it was like a like a flirt like a nest of rats going all over the place and then i don't know where all my friends go where are all my friends My newfound friends, though, guys. So, you know, Outback the Org. I don't know how much of a how much of a tour we've done down here. I'll take a little take a little jaunt. All right. So here we go down the alley. So. 22, well, keep away. No, oh, okay, so this must be the security guard's car. He's parked back here. It says it's a canine. It's unmarked. Um, but I guess it's the private company, right? So, I mean. <coughs> Pilk, 8268. Oh, thanks, all. Uh, kind messages and uh, well wishes and support. Y'all are cool. Y'all are cool. So here's the other extent here, right? So don't block the container. Now, this is a public alley. Oh, hello. How are we doing today? Are we uh, trafficking our requisite number of children? Oh, yeah, it's so funny, right? You know, it's, it's only that uh, you're under federal investigation, your organization. Uh, I really hope you haven't done anything personally uh, for that. Because, uh, you know, you wouldn't want to get all wrapped up in a bunch of uh, alleged nasty uh, federal charges on human trafficking into this nation, or maybe all the financial crimes that Scientology is involved in, like uh, wire fraud, tax fraud, securities fraud, you know. Or what about extortion or blackmail? Are you down with that? Seemingly? You don't know? Answer to any question? Courage of your convictions at all? Did, can, can we show that? How about this? How are those gains? Right? You got your superpowers? No? You're like human supercomputer yet, or you don't get sick, or you're not pigeon toed or anything? Okay. Uh, how about how about clearing the planet, though? How's that going? Right? You know, 20 to 30,000 Scientologists globally? You think uh, that's worth spending your entire life on? You need a physical therapist. You don't walk right, sir. I think um, your spine is way out of alignment. And, and you as well. How are those gains, right? How's clearing the planet going? Is it worth spending your life in a human trafficking cult? These golden vests denote child traffickers. If you see them in your neighborhood, this is a child trafficking cult. Do not give them any information, your time, or your money. They are dangerous people. All right, y'all. Let's, uh, sorry. This has become a monopod. I'm going to drop my pod a little down. It's, oh, it's an earthquake. Oh, excuse me. That's quite all right. Meet me. So, uh, you know, they tried to escape out the back. Like uh, good Scientologists, rats leaving a sinking ship, you know. Because uh, that's, that's courage, right? We're clearing the planet. We're going to save everybody's life, but we're going to run out the back if there's anybody with opposing ideas. Ooh. Run, run, run till your daddy takes, what, your cigarettes away? You smoking those cools? LRH love those cools, amber teeth, you know, amber teeth, right? 
Oh, that was quick. You made it. You made it. Amazing. Amazing. Amazingly amazing. Okay. All right. So, uh, let's see. Uh, this looks like a public alley to me. Hey, everybody. Yeah, not the cools. I exactly. That was LRH's brand uh, to the point where um, uh, in uh, these homes that are prepared for him for his return, uh, you know, there's a number of homes, uh, but there's a main one. And uh, the landscaping is done such uh, that from... Uh, from a very great height, it, uh, it, it makes out the two intersecting circles and like the triangles of the uh, cool logo so that he can see it when he's returning back to Earth and he knows where to go to get his fiberglass fix. Right. So. Yep. So yeah, you know, seemingly uh, they don't want their cigarettes right now. I mean, they're going to need cigarettes at some point. So I guess they have balconies, right? But um, 
I mean, maybe lower conditions means that you've got have to smoke by the dumpster. <laughs> I mean, maybe they like, you know, the smell of dumpster. Reminds me of uh, loading trucks for a living. It's not fun. Uh, the camaraderie can be okay. Uh, you know, jokes people tell on a loading dock can be funny. But, uh, tough job. Oh, hello. How are you? Doing all right. How are you? Oh, not too bad. All right. You cannot harass these people with their entrance or exit. If you do that, you are blocking their freedom of movement. That is a what, crime. What do you mean harass? They're telling me that you're harassing them. I am speaking to people. Well, that may be an issue, but if you... I am any, speaking to people. I am done with this interaction, sir. I am completely done with this interaction. You can move it on. Heel and toe, please. I want no further interaction with you. I want no further interaction with you. I don't care. Interfere with their movement. Oh, I did no such thing. Interfering with their freedom. Yeah, I did no such thing. Your freedom of movement. Indeed, and I did no such thing. So take it on the heel and toe. What they're telling Take yeah, because they're liars. Please get the heck out of here. Move it along. Get out of my space, please. You've you stepped safe. into my space. Please well, that's, that's leave it. Too bad because this is okay. public access, as you guys like to. Okay, so you're so address. so so you're going to harass me then, I'm not like a real jerk. Sir, I'm advising you, and you are yeah. on camera. Baloney pants. Have a good day. Yeah, eat me. Oh, they're being harassed by ideas. Oh God. God forbid a child trafficking cult gets criticized on the street, you chump. God forbid. Nobody's blocking anything. They're stupid feelings and your dumbass job, obviously. You have no scruples. Morals, you are a coward, sir. This is what you choose to do with your life. You've made a little hell for yourself. Proving Jean-Paul Sartre's uh, assertion, hell is other people. There it is. There is hell in other people. Yeah, I don't like to be accused of nonsensical things, guys. I just don't like it. Oh, let's be nice. Let's be just so nice to the people who are abusing us on the streets and our rights and everything. Let's play nice, right? Let's have a calm, put-together conversation with people who are absolutely trying to manipulate you and get you arrested and possibly killed on the street, right, guys? Because it's just being nice, right? Shine that love and light. That changes nations. That deposes dictators, right? Absolutely. People with actual force of arms. At the... Good evening. How you doing? Ho, 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 ho. Hey, hey, hey. Well met. Hi. Hi. Selfless self. Acupunk. All right. How's it going? It continues I to go. I was checking, to, checking on you because they said you were around the side, and I was like, I didn't see him when I came up. Well, I kept moving because they kept moving. So yep. yeah, they came out the side like, you know, uh, rats leaving a sinking ship like seven at a time. Yeah. And they started to take their smoke break back here. And I thought just a little cult reminder over here. <laughs> and then yeah. security dude um, just accused me of... Oh, um, he was talking about like blocking movement or something? Yeah. He was saying on... Okay, I, I thought he was talking about something about... Yeah, yeah he, said, he said I was... He first said I was harassing people, and I said, what, with words? You mean speaking to people on the street, that's harassment? He says, no, they said you were blocking their path. And I'm like, I in no way, shape, or form blocked anybody's path, and I would not do that ever. Yeah. And he says, just so you know, if you block their path, you're going to be arrested, blah, blah. And I'm like, no, nah, he's a security. He'll, he'll call the cops right, right. And, make an and make an assertion, yeah. you know, and that assertion could, could hold weight. Basically, as soon as he started that, I'm like, I'm done with this interaction. Get out of my face. And that was basically my line. 
You're not. No, you're not advising me of anything. You're not advising me of my rights. You're you, you're trying to manipulate me. Thank you very much. Yeah, he's trying. He's trying to play nice. Like you know, he asked me who was in the car, and he and and all this stuff, and. You know, he's trying to seem like a person. And then I said, well, you know, you could definitely get another job. Why don't you get another job? Right? Because that's the real issue here. You're taking money from a child trafficking cult. You're choosing to, to, to take money from them. Yeah, exactly. Oh, the, uh, the, the radio control car. He was, he was, he was trying to, yeah, he was trying to be like familiar and friendly. Like, ooh, cool car. I like the car, man. Like, you know, he's he's being good cop, bad cop, like, moment to moment, since he's the only one here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hey, y'all, this is AccuPunk. I have my, uh, this is the shirt that KK gave me that I, it's laundry day, and so it Brilliant. has long sleeves on it, and I just ripped them off, because you're never going to wear long sleeves like that. Yeah. I'm out in Texas, so. Hell yeah. Yeah. Looking great. Yeah, I need to get rid of the uh, the farmer side of this. You know, I, I'm from Massachusetts, so yeah. I'm not used I'm to all this. New York, but I've been yeah, you've been. Long. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, I'm gonna head back. Nice meeting you. Same here. I'll see you around. Around the corner. <laughs> so I've lost all my blues. I don't have any blues. I need to do an arrow with some orange and blues. I mean, the other thing is, yeah, I've been on camera the whole time. You know, they want they want to say I was blocking people's path. I'm like, yeah, okay, go ahead, go ahead and try to prove that um, with your nothing, with your stupid assertions. Uh, stupid, <laughs> I guess. I mean, stupefyingly dumb. You know, I feel like I lost a few brain cells just listening to that guy, and that's why I wanted him to stop. Because uh, I didn't, uh, I wanted to be able to order food later, right? And remember the English language, and he was just taking IQ points, every word, every word. It's like, I don't want to use my mind anymore. Oh, sure, of course. Are you going to hit me? Are you going to hit my stuff? What's up, chump? How's it going, chump rageous? Chumpadelic? No? Got nothing? I guess we're uh, we're doing a little report. We're gonna make little reports. We're gonna look official here while we can. We having fun? How you doing? Ooh, I like this green. Okay, Ladybird.
There he goes down the alley. So he tried to intimidate me, I think, out of this spot. Um, I think he thought uh, I'd be like, oh, my God, a car. It's official now. That's right. A pedestrian has to move for any car because, well, you know, then you're risking vehicular. Oh, oh, oh wait a minute. It's the other way. See, maybe the togetherness, camaraderie, the friendships that we're building, and all of this stuff, the travel, and the people that we're meeting, and maybe that will convince some people, hey, wait a minute, these squirrels are pretty cool. Maybe that got something Scientology don't. So, yeah, I mean, attracting any person that's in by fun, by hook or by crook, by help, you know, and the foundation's numbers um, and the help that they provide or are going to. Somebody making a soft approach on me? No. Just the leaves. Or the brush. <clears throat> yeah, I'm stopping people's movement. I'm invi I'm advising you though. Yeah, you're advising me of, like, some nonsensical bullshit assertion by your damn clients, you dumb idiot. Like, sorry, has absolutely no weight. I don't care. You're not educating me like your friend thought he was educating me. You're not telling me anything. Flapping your gums like I am now. Flap, a flap, a flap. So that's pretty nice. I like that. I think it's cool. I think uh, I'd be able to move on. Yeah, Dan's in front with Pearl. The diabetes. <laughs> Christy, absolutely. Thanks. Thanks. It's true. Front, side door, back door. Get them all covered. Thanks. Rather be in Maui. Absolutely. Yes, alleyway. Dan walks LA is in Austin. He definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that the back door? This is the back door. It's the loading dock door. Right? Everything's prohibited over there. You can see. Um, right? So uh, we're gonna we're gonna go back. We're gonna go back to the uh, to the other side door uh, and see if because because I had a pretty good cornering here going on. Um, this is still going. This is still going. Okay. So. I'm going to take a little walk. All right. Oh, he tried to drive through the chalk or something? <laughs> All right. That's our, no, yeah, exactly. I caught a bunch of them. Uh, coffin nails for coffin dodgers, right? So. Not to get on anybody who's smoking. Oh, we're, we're a little zoomed. Sorry, guys. <coughs> That's better. Okay. So, we'll go to the front. Or at least the side. Maybe uh, we'll do some stuff by the door.
Look at this. I love it. I love it. Look at that. Killing it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Chalk is harassment to Cianto, seemingly. Uh, thanks, Sean Skinner. All right, so we're going around with the car. So you tried to move me off the spot with your car, and so we've just made the block, and now... Oh, I know. He tried to move me out of the alley by uh, moving his car up on me, and... Are we going to leave now? Was that like some kind of intimidation? Is there a reason why your front plate is on your dash? How about your rear plate? Clear as day. See you later. See you later. All right. Children cannot consent, not medically, not legally, not neurologically. They cannot consent to what you do to them. Shame on all of you within this building for the harm that you do to not only that protected class, but the elderly and to everyone else stuck in this human trafficking cult that is a series of scams just about every type of fraud, extortion, and blackmail. Congratulations for being in an extortionate, blackmailing, human trafficking cult. So seemingly your door is still broken. Now perhaps you would have had a professional to come here and rehang your door so it would close properly. But it doesn't seem like you mind wasting money. Like you waste money on private investigators, on paying off the police, local businesses and security guards like this to come and harass peaceful protesters and certainly accuse us of harassing perhaps with chalk in our voice without any evidence trying to cite me with an actual crime like a real jerk stuff like that real bush league psych out stuff really but I would say to anybody taking their money, hopefully it tastes like poison in your mouth when you buy food and eat it off of the backs of a human trafficking cult. Yeah, me too, that's right. All right. Hope it turns your stomach.
You're getting pulled over. Woohoo! <laughs> Sounds like a siren. Hey, being in a child trafficking cult just became a glamour profession. It's the glamour confession. The LA concession. Every boy would spend a quarter just to kill the fill the boy. Living hard will take its toll. A big fun under the sun, boy. Yeah. If you need to sign it, sign an NDA to leave a religion, it's a cult. Yeah. Yeah, they love us by calling the police for nothing and threatening to call the police for further nothing on the assertions of known liars. That was a wonderful threat you issued to me in the form of an explanation. That was in no way educational. I tried to let you know you were not educating me. And I hope further you will not try to do that again. Because it is just plainly annoying to be educated by an ignoramus. And one that is so morally comp compromised as you are. It's a little bit much, I have to say. A little much. <laughs> Yeah, seemingly every uh, officer of the company for which you work is also a legal ignoramus. Every single one that I've talked to has misrepresented the law <laughs> in a gazillion ways. For the benefit of your client, which just gets a little annoying. Danger, Will Robinson, danger! Right there, hey. Yeah! Oh, right. that's the shot. <laughs> that's really nice. Dan's rocking out. Yes, Pac-Man eating the word Scientology? Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Pro. Oh, yeah, this, this guy right here. Hello. 
Hello. Tried to make sure that I wasn't harassing anybody with the words that I was saying. Asserting that I had blocked people's path with no evidence and threatening me with the police and arrest like a real chump. Look at that sunset. Holy, holy shnikes. Let's, let's get it coming off of the building if it's possible. A, little, a few rays. Can it ray out? Oh, boom. Ray, ray. Hip, hip, a sun ray. All right. Oh, well, you know, if you don't use so-called cuss words, then uh, you're uh, less literate than the rest of us, I have to say. Um, Anglo-Saxon words are not evil. They're not harmful. They're descriptive of exactly what they mean to describe. I think uh, the Victorian uh, ethic and ethos has uh, certainly screwed that idea up quite a little bit. But... Um, I mean, how many insults and, uh, you know, swear words of the time did Shakespeare use, you might ask yourself. Quite a lot. Quite a lot. So, uh, yeah, I would say you're less literate if you don't use cuss words. It's less words. It's just less words. So, I'm a huge fan of Lenny Bruce. Huge fan of that kind of First Amendment stuff in general. And so... I mean, it is generally my opinion that, uh, thank you, this kind of puritanical stuff needs to go. Pretty much, and is a vestige of, like, the morality lessons of religion, uh, which are fraudulent. Because if you look in history, religious leaders were some of the most corrupt, vicious, warlike, inhumane people that you, you can read about. If you look at European history of this past millennia, it's not very good for this. And so I would say, use all the words. Use all the intent. You know, make mistakes even, right, with your language. And perhaps we should maybe be more, more forgiving for more people in different kind of psychological states rather than just nicey nice Because for me, coming from uh, uh, a uh, history of uh, recovering from different kinds of abuses and having been in day treatment centers with uh, PTSD victims um, who just can't be nice, can't do all of the things that you wish these people could do. There are some people who are so made that they cannot live in your button-down world. And the button, buttoning down of things negates people who are damaged by life and who cannot put on, you know, the, the smiley face for you. It negates their existence nearly entirely. And I've seen it happen innumerable times with well-meaning people who are thinking that they're trying to help. And I, I just, I find it to be somewhat, um, well, not just somewhat, I find it to be entirely problematic as for people who are damaged um, by life and have like a, a, a more gruff or rough exterior, express themselves differently, that's not, you know, in this prescribed way. Um, again, they get f further thrown away. Because people don't even want to try to meet them where they're at. And I just, I find that to be its own level of prejudice and bigotry. And uh, that's just me. That's my rant about that. I mean, I know people mean well and like maybe protect the kids, the swear words. Maybe they just don't like it. You know, 
signed up for, but I think, um, you know, if that's where you draw the line, there's, it's a big, bad world out there, you know, and that, that ain't nothing. If that's going to scare you off the block, then maybe there's a lot of things you're not seeing because you don't want to look. Like, it's also, I think, you know, my conversations with Eric, like, we use a whole lot of swear words, you know, a lot of gruffness, a lot of harsh talk, um, because we're talking about harsh stuff. We're talking about people's lives being, um, being mowed over. Haven't read what? Lol. It's all the treasure hunting. Love it. Yeah, curse. I swear like a sailor. Stairway to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Do you afford your proctologist at the same latitude with language use? Is that meant to be witty? I mean, you know, coming from the construction world, uh, event production, you know, um, there's a whole lot of this. And it's, you get into working spaces where, like, people die, right? Like uh, construction laboring, uh, top 10 most dangerous job oftentimes. Yeah, please don't give them any more of your time or or energy. I hope you didn't give them any of your like actual identifying information because they will never ever leave you alone. So um, you know, it comes with a lot of gruffness. Like if if you've met the hard stuff in life, um, swear words are like uh, you know obviously like a release, a kind of catharsis, out of engaging in like safe negativity and especially if people know what you mean and you're among friends generally positive as far as i can tell so uh it's gonna check about the smokers the smoking no heart oh what what do you mean no heart i don't, I don't know what i received um angie did, did I receive? Oh, I might as well look, huh? King publicly, the answer is yes. So you're not coming out of Scientology, are you? Yeah, um, you know, this is an extortionate blackmailing child trafficking cult, right? And it's not a religion in any way, shape or form. You do understand that you're supporting evil by uh, giving them any of your time and attention, correct? Maybe not. Okay. All right. We got a, like a, you know, beatnik looking dude. Seems pretty cool. So you're coming out of Scientology, eh? Did you say you're an active Scientologist then? Please, if you want to help people, volunteer your time at a soup kitchen or at a school. Or perhaps minister to prisoners, but don't give them any religion. Like, if you actually want to help people, if that's your aim, there are plenty of people that need your help. This organization doesn't help people. It ruins people's lives. There is always hope. Don't give up on yourself. All right. Full-on Dianetics shirt and everything. Okay. How's it going, y'all? Oh, no, it's not. Well, just let me get set up here, okay? We'll have, we'll have a time. We'll have a nice little time. Oh, y'all are good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, no, they were about to move out a bunch of stuff. There was, like, Mr. Dynamics shirt coming out of there and... Yeah, 
there, you know, is, yeah, Alan Mark from Texas Public Safety and Investigations. Yeah, which is like a total joke of an agency, um, private agency. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's the saddest thing. I'm not going to picture this. It's just sad. It's just. It's just. It's just sad. I didn't. I'm not filming any of that. You're disgusted. Leave this cult. Be a responsible parent. Don't ruin these people's lives. So that was a couple kids coming out of there. I didn't want to picture that. Didn't want to picture it. So they're all trying to leave by the back. That's how this org is kind of surviving. Well, I didn't. No, no, me. He said that's me. I said it to me too. It's not illegal, though. Correct, but They're I didn't. In public. Yeah, I know, and I didn't do it either way because it's disgusting. Yeah. Bringing kids in and out of this place is Are disgusting. Are you guys and chattering? I'm wondering if you guys know what Scientology did to Fulton or individuals, maybe you as individuals. How's clearing the planet going? Huh? How's that going? How are the games? You got your superpowers yet? Solve a Rubik's Cube faster? Crossword puzzle anything? Good evening. Good one. Good one. Oh no, what's going on? So the reason that the camera is still on me is yeah. because somehow I don't know how to get this screen off. <laughs> oh, this. Okay, yeah. so there's a little check. Oh my gosh, I couldn't see it because it was so bright. Thank you. Probably good though that it was on me because he was on. He's on the phone with the police. Yeah. Saying that I was filming his kids. Yeah. Right. And exactly. Yeah. Same here. Same. I don't want to do that. I don't care to like to picture kids. I mean, I'll picture the parents because you know they're shameful what they're doing. Illegal. I had a question. Do you have duct tape? I uh, not I not duct tape, but I, I do have gaffer tape. Gaffer tape. Yeah, it's cloth, cloth back tape that, you know. Can you... I use that for my sign? Sure, sure. I'm going to make like a sandwich sign, you know, so I just need it to. Yes, I will bring it back. Thank you so Wicked. much. Wicked. Okay. <laughs> Wicked. Yeah, I'm going to need a, another roll, I think. I've, I've been through this roll of gaff. Uh... Yeah, it just keeps getting worse, guys. Or just kind of the same bad. But uh, it, 
it feels cumulative after a time. Uh, all the bads together, seeing all the uh, harm, potential and future harm of uh, kids wrapped up in this stuff. Uh, I mean, it's, it's hard to contain oneself. Uh, from trying to, uh, well, thinking like you can do something to actually protect those kids that you're seeing who are obviously having their lives ruined by uh, a bunch of fatuous windbags posing as parents. All right. Good evening. You know, you can do anything other than this with your existence. You do understand that this organization does not help people. If you would like to help people, you could volunteer at a soup kitchen. You could volunteer at a school. You could volunteer at a prison. You could actually help people. This organization does not wish to help people. Sorry. Not sorry. Shift change, back up. Oh, we're going to do a little checkup, a little check-in, and do a little review. Hey, how's it going? Do an interview? Oh, would you like to speak with us? Absolutely. All right, so um, let's see. Uh, how many people we got? <laughs> That's a few. Let's see. Uh, That's my second time here, though. I'm not their ambassador. <laughs> no, no, indeed. So uh, so you went in because you were curious, I guess? Uh, I literally just get bored. <laughs> right on. Yeah, you're finding something to do. So... Um, so what was your experience in there? Um, I don't know if I'm necessarily allowed to. I don't know how it works. With <laughs> oh, I think it's a free country still. That is um, fair. So uh, I, I think anything that they may have told you is not proprietary. You know how, like, I'm, I'm med, right? You know how there's attorney client, there's patient provider privacy. Right, but this has nothing to do with that. Oh, yeah, but if, if a church wants privacy, if a business wants privacy, would you not respect a business's privacy or a, a small owner? Not when it comes like, to a uh, child trafficking cult like this. I, I would expose oh, each and every little I thing that they do. I don't know about, I don't know about any of that. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, the, the thing is, I mean, this isn't, you know, an interesting anomaly of, a, of an organization, but they do. The reason why these protesters and myself are out here is because this organization truly ruins people's lives and they capture all of your time and your attention and all of your money for a philosophy that doesn't make any sense and never did that was written by a fraud 
who's just trying to make money off of people. I will say, if you get psychologically manipulated by every company, by every government, maybe it's you or that were mentally weak, right? As a parent, right? My parents teach me, don't trust strangers, don't trust anybody else. That's like, you don't, like, even like- Oh, everybody's got ago, a handle out, a absolutely. Ago, like, I remember with an officer, right? Officer of the law. Yes. Like, I lied to the officer because like, you know, I was scared of my parents finding out, right? Yes. And like, that's like, because parental respect comes before anything, right? Well, that's your, I mean, I think everybody's like, priorities are their own. Some, yeah, some so people really don't like their parents for good reason because they treated them very badly. Yeah, so then you shouldn't respect those people at all. But, um, but in your case, I, I'm very, I'm very happy that, you, I mean, you have a relationship with your parents that, that is positive oh, yeah. and you'd like to respect them. I mean, I do. I'm, I'm Hindu for sure. Oh, right on, right on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> don't get me wrong. No, no, absolutely. So, but close, I close do, family bonds. I do think like, and a lot of Hindu families, here, right? There's a lot of Christian influences. Oh, even huge. In my schooling. Huge, right? absolutely. Like even in elementary absolutely. school. Absolutely. Did I not go through all that and ignore it all? Like, did I let Christianity dominate my life? Like, I don't think so. Schooling? I don't think so. No, 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 no. Yeah, you see, you you like, seem free and clear of yeah, uh, of this kind of stuff. So it's like, I guess it can be non-denominational. I don't know. However, you want to look at it in terms of like my perspective. I was really judgmental when I first walked in. So I'm like a church. It's just uh, it's <laughs> it's not a church. It's yeah. it's a bunch of self help nonsense that this guy borrowed from from other people and from psychology from the first yeah, I mean, part of the twentieth century, and you then hear me when I'm in there, and then tried I'm to sell like, a, a bunch of people a bunch of books, and that's just about it. You should hear me when I'm in there. I'm like, wow, all of this just steals from Hinduism. Oh right. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, and, is, and, and and Buddhism, yeah, like some of the Buddhist philosophy, life, and a lot of other things. In my just, life, I look at like the seven greeds. Or the seven sins yes. in Christianity. Yes. I look at Buddhist principles. Correct. I look right. at the four noble truths. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. right. Like you can literally take from everywhere. Yeah, the pillars that's, that's of the Islam. One thing I do like about them that they kind of did just take. Like, yeah, but not accurately. The thing is, there are a yeah. number of other organizations that actually do all of this accurately and would like to actually educate people. Um, I would say. Um, Maybe the most positive non-denominational uh, uh, religious organization that I know of are the Unitarian Universalists, and they're actually out there working for human rights. Uh, oh, yeah, the Unitarians. I used to work for their nonprofit that provides like. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. The, well, just they, they have another word, the, the Universalists, because it's a it, it's a combined philosophy. Um, of these two movements that 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 uh, intersected at one point in history, and um, they're one of the oldest kind of uh, international disaster relief uh, organizations called the uh, the Unitarian U Universalist Service Committee. I'm not a Unitarian, but I worked for them because they were doing good work, like disaster relief in the Congo, disaster relief in Haiti. They're actually doing stuff, and they're not trying to sell people a book. They're just which is what Scientology does. They'll show up in Haiti and they'll try to get them into their programs and extract money from people. Mm. Now, I do think it's when I was in there, I was like, yeah, I'm not spending no money. No, not, no. I'm and don't, don't give nothing. them, don't give them your name either because they'll never leave you alone. <laughs> they will never stop calling. They'll never stop mailing you stuff. They'll never yeah, stop I emailing you. Give them my name, but oh, well, well, <laughs> You know, it, stuff happens. I, Hopefully it's not like, too annoying. Maybe I'm too young, so it, it won't really, <laughs> it doesn't really matter, right? I give all these apartment complexes my name, my number, right? True, I but. I give social but, media, like, my name and number. But, just, I mean, the, the Scientology is really a different beast. Like, they they, they honestly, they've got banks and banks of people on, the, on calls. The smarter and smarter you go, right, I guess the easier it is to kind of influence people who are less smart, maybe. Right? Uh, depending. Like, de because the thing like, is, even organizations like this, they do bring in people with high levels in, of intelligence. Mm -hmm. And oh, when it, I it's that personality test, that first thing I was like, all I said was a smart, smart man made this test. <laughs> like it can, you know, it can, it's an Oxford test, I guess. Yeah. Right. Like Indeed. Yeah. Right. Uh, I just, I respect intelligence. Sure. There, so there isn't, there isn't very much right here. 
<laughs> not at all that I can glean. I, I've, re I've read most of the holy books and I've read the commentaries on them. These guys don't have anything. They don't have anything on the ball. They don't know one word Talmud. They don't know one word. I think the best way to learn is probably just go to the library, do it yourself. But it, yeah, agreed. If you know how, if you know how to organize information for yourself, mm -hmm. you you got that right. You got the world oh, in your yeah, hands. Right. Well, now a lot of information can be organized much easier through Correct. online format. <laughs> a a absolutely, absolutely. So it's a, it's just, more yeah. of it's on uh, at your fingertips for sure. Yeah, but if you don't do the groundwork, then oh yeah, when you aren't relying on machine learning or this that. Oh, and, and I don't, I, you know, I, uh, I'm from the old, old school internet where you had to do a lot of this stuff yourself yeah, and and know that level of research and where to go and, you, you know, know, there's, know to there's read tradition, peer, peer review really papers. It's really important to build lasting things in Hinduism. Right, and in absolutely. Chinese cultures. Right? Very, very, very old tradition. Very important if you want to build something lasting. Well, right? and they have. Their civilizations are unbelievably long lasting. Yeah, but... They also are somewhat controlling, right? Very. Because you can't, it's because it. you bring that much information into a subset of the population, it may cause chaos. Oh, right. I don't know if you've noticed for like businesses, right? But on it's also TikTok, for control. All these kids came on here and like they saw, oh, this customer service hack, this hack, this hack, this hack, this hack, 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 to do this quick, to do this quick. Now every company, now you got to spend like two hours on the phone if you just need like, hey, my order was messed up. Correct. Or you need a connection with someone that works at like there, or you got to go in person now. Well, it's because right? um, they started with calls. They started with sure, sure. I mean, you're you're gonna exter as any of these corporations move forward, they're gonna externalize more and more of their costs. Yeah. They're gonna try to pass off what used to be like in person customer service interaction on the phone or through text. Um, trying to replace all of that with AI, with chatbots. It's absolutely. I, I certainly do. As, <laughs> as soon as I meet these automated systems, I recognize them immediately and I ask for a human. Pretty, yeah, <laughs> that's what I usually do when I talk to Because because they're pretty work. they're pretty useless. Yeah, it's well. Thus you far, know the right directory. Oh yeah. You can get right. quickly to the right human that specializes in what you need help. With. Well, yeah, yeah. So right. What is it? the first rule of business is to um, know to speak to. <laughs> Connections it, are important. It, it cuts out a lot of a lot of time wasting talking to the wrong people who can't actually help you. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I, I don't. I haven't formed. I think judgment upon just judgment's sake is bad. Sure. So if I don't know the information behind your telling me child trafficking, this yeah, yeah. That, so I would. I I, I would rather like brown cultures. There's a lot of rumors that go around. People are gossipers. This, 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 this. Oh, it's no, it's right? proven. It's, like you know, I I know people, I know people be. personally who have been trafficked into this country by this organization as a child, had their passport removed from them, put in a four-star hotel to do counseling sessions. As a 12-year-old person, you are counseling an adult person who's a sexual assaulter. That sexual assaulter has come to this four-star hotel and plunked down maybe a black Amex, paying a hundred thousand dollars for the privilege of having this happen. Do you think it's outdated though to always think age equals respect? No, I'm saying twelve-year-olds shouldn't be doing counseling sessions with an adult person who's a sexual assaulter ever. Oh yeah, I mean one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> like, That's what I'm saying in a situation. in a locked hotel room. Right, oh, yeah, with it, with an earpiece in their ear, and the twelve year old is being fed the questions by this organization. This is what they do. This is what they do at a high level, and like they're they're big money donors. Um, this is some of the services that they pay for. They pay for the okay. privilege in to be counselled okay. by children. At a certain level of time, there's always a cultural norm, right? So, like in right. the past, in the beginning, I'm a psych major. So we always learn about the past yeah. psychology, right? So yeah, I just graduated learning, summa from psych from psych <laughs> oh, program. That's cool. Yeah. So the first thing you learn in psychology is like you learn about, you know, oh, they were shocking people first. They learned this about this child, Albert, right? You learn, yes. You learn about how we ethically fucked up over and over to get to the knowledge we got to now. Yes, of course, because you know today's science is tomorrow's barbarism, so and sure it's just like better sure. by degree as to like what came before, hopefully. 
Improvement is the goal, not perfection. I don't know specifics, but you always tell me every government in the world is seeking knowledge without hurting anyone. I don't think any of them are. You don't think any of them are? Right? I think but they're all harming people to seek out whatever they're seeking. And that's just how, what it takes to run a major nation, any nation state. Somebody's going to get ground under the, the wheels. None of them are altruistic. All of them are going to produce harm. Well, or or desire for power. Yeah, because they not as much a need. They they think they need it. Whatever your desires are, even feeding into them, in my opinion, like lust, envy, gluttony, whatever it may be, you know it'll hurt you, right? Or whoever may know. Uh, not in every case. I would say everything in moderation, yeah, including yeah. including moderation. Yeah. So <laughs> it's good to take things up to their limits for yourself every once in a while so you know where the margin is. I'm going to go party with my friends and then come back and grind. That's what I'm saying. Right? Like, I'm still in college. Oh, yeah. So Absolutely. I, That's what I mean to say. It's human connection is more important. Agreed. Well, for long-term human health, you're absolutely right. I mean, as you may have studied, um, you know, a lot of our brain development, our forebrain, everything, you know, past like our, our midbrain, the, the, like amygdala, and like what's going to produce fight or flight, uh, the limbic system, you know, our, our, fear, our, our fear and reaction response. So everything in the forebrain, or like a lot of it, is generated around... Uh, our abilities to socialize as like a pack animal, like like yeah, a group of chimpanzees, and so like it, absolutely. Like, so so if you take away socialization from human beings, it's, it's terrible. It's <laughs> terrible. Yeah. Well, I mean, well, your neuronal connections, your associative pathways start to atrophy. Right. Yeah. You're, you're not firing down these pathways, then. So, like, like your muscles will atrophy, your your neurons will die and pull back. And so, uh, what they found with especially solitary confinement is that this happens because you're desocializing somebody completely. You know, and after two weeks, um, well, the UN says over two weeks of solitary confinement. You they said in two thousand has to be comfortable by himself before he goes and wants to be. Uncomfortable with others. Well, there is that. Not it, always. It, it, well, it, it's interesting it's, that if all the religious learning to be by yourself. Absolute, long, long absolutely, absolutely. But solitary confinement is proven through brain scans and all sorts of other tests. For, depression. <laughs> well, depression, um, like lack of lack of uh, ability to um, process and and give language. So, like aphasia, yeah. um, and. So yeah, uh, yeah, ex executive function. So so like aggressive aggressive tendencies, and full blown psychosis. Like around the corner, can't recognize this room anymore. Kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, okay, this we, was a very appealing conversation yes. to me. But no, you got to run. All I came in here for was to study for my dad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got my dental exam. Oh, right on. Cool. That sounds like <laughs> yeah. that sounds like good time. Good luck on that. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Good for the time. Good luck with Good luck with this. Oh, no, no, no. I was filling you. So. Oh. Hello, live stream. Hello. <laughs> I got to follow? <laughs> yeah. I'm big. Why no, you have a channel? Uh, no, I just use, is this Instagram or what is it? This YouTube. Oh, YouTube? Yeah. I, I don't really use YouTube, but okay. that's pretty cool. Yash Patel from Austin, Texas. Right on. From Plano, Texas, or whatever you want to consider. Killer. Killer. Great <laughs> yeah. conversation. Yeah, it was nice meeting you. Though. Absolutely. Have a good one. You too. That was a cool guy. We like cool people. Studying psychology, interesting stuff. I agree. These people think psychologists are evil because, well, they told Ron Hubbard in the 1950s he was probably crazy. And he took that kind of personal. And uh, he's been at war, or the organization has been at war with uh, psychologists and psychiatrists ever since trying to denigrate each and everything that they ever do.
So yeah, got a little solo alley project going here. Trying to make sure that they're not smoking all the cigarettes. So that was fun. I think I need a snack. I could use another caffeinated beverage. I think kind of a late night last night. All right, y'all. You doing? See Amazon link. Thanks. Stack color. Oh, Laura. Thank you. Chewy's. Thanks. Hell gear. Two majors. Law. Did he say, yeah, he did. He said it, Dad. Stone but not alone? No, you're not. Very cool. Yeah, absolutely. Great to see the uh, precocious youth. Two security types out front. Exactly. And we've got one back here. They uh, called for backup, seemingly. So, uh, And they got it. They've loaded up all the cars back here. So, I don't know. Maybe they're afraid of putting them on the street. Or, yeah, it's not a lot of parking on the street. So, use the alley, right? Not sure uh, if it's a public alley or if parking is actually legal. Um, ooh, I got some light. The light change. You guys see that? It was a lighting effect. I did it with my mind. My own reactive mind. Excuse me? Oh, sure. Right. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. No, I was just wondering, wondering aloud. Yeah, wicked. Cool. Right on, right on. Oh, yeah. Correct. Yeah, not even trying to do that, obviously. We mean nobody any harm, you see. Indeed. Yeah, but you are hired by Scientology, aren't you? Close enough. Do you know what they do? Well, okay, but would you would you protect uh, Patriot Front or Adam Waffen? Right. So, but you would you would work to protect Nazis? That's that's my question. Would you take that job? Because you know this is kind of what you're doing here. Not really. If you're protecting a child trafficking cult, are you keeping people safe, sir? Correct. No, you are not. You are protecting child traffickers is what you are currently doing. Because we are offered no protection from you, sir. None whatsoever. This is the fourth city that I've been to. I've dealt with private security hired by Scientology in four different cities. And each and every time. They represent themselves as this and do exactly the opposite. So you'd have to excuse me if I don't believe your assertions because my, my life experience demonstrates something completely different than your assertions currently. Well, how about the people that showed up two days ago, you know, the, you know, with long guns, right? The APD, because there was a weapons call against us. Right? Somebody tried to have us swatted. And then the members of your company laughed in our face. 
our lives were put at risk two days ago and the members of your company, the person who probably trained you, laughed in our face. And so, no, if you're going to take money from this company and you're going to take money from this organization, I have to say I have a lot of criticism for that. I have a lot of criticism for that because there are other jobs. Best job market in 20 years right now. Best. Oh, yeah. You can get more for your labor now than you have been able to since the millennial turn. By any measure. By any measure. I've done the hard jobs. I've worked construction, right? Laboring. Like some of the most dangerous jobs by fatality rate in the country. And I'll tell you, renting your body is way more profitable right now. And so I would say, think again about what you're doing and who you're supporting. And perhaps take money from somebody else if you can. Because you're supporting or protecting an organization that ruins lives, that injures children, that abuses the elderly, that commits extortion, blackmail, wire fraud, tax fraud, securities fraud. So if, if that's who you want to protect, I mean, I've heard, I've heard other security guards be like, yeah, I'll protect anybody. I'll protect, you know, killers and pimps and whatever, you know. And so it's like, you know, it gets to the point where your, your excuses are completely your own. And if you're going to, seriously, history does not look kindly upon people who just take money from anybody for any reason. And so as this organization is going to face federal prosecution this year for child trafficking, I would think, look for greener pastures. Yeah, you can choose what you can choose what to do and you can also be criticized for it. You're not absolved from criticism for your choices. Ignorance of these crimes, ignorance of evil done in the world is not a defense. It's not a defense. It's not moral. Doesn't show very much scruple. I mean, ignorance is certainly not a defense from the law, is it? Not in court, is it? Yeah, ignorance of the law is not. And in, I mean, the way history looks at it, I'm just saying. On the look back machine, people do not take kindly to people who are just going along, following orders, helping evil. Okay? Following orders as an excuse was a defense used in the 1940s and 50s at Nuremberg, right? How'd that work out for the SS officers there? No, you are a prison guard. These people are prisoners. The children who come in here are imprisoned by their parents. And the people who have lived in here their whole lives have had their lives taken from them. I've met survivors personally, very many of them who have escaped from this organization and tell terrible fucking harrowing tales about what this organization took from them, and it took from them their whole families, their health, their industry, their reputation, their children, separated them from their families. If you speak out against this church and become what they call a suppressive person, you are no longer allowed to speak to any member of your family that's within the church. It's called family separation. It's a disgusting practice that terrifies people into staying. Because if you think that you're going to leave and they threaten you with separation from your entire family, that's your whole life. 
You're not going to leave the church and lose your whole life. That's how they keep you in. This is what you're protected. These are abusers. These are abusers. Oh, I didn't show the whole lettering. Let's go back. I didn't show the lettering. Thanks, Q. Thanks. That's nice. I didn't show it. I didn't get a wide shot. Thanks, y'all. It's nice. I, I think I'm following the music, too, because I'm, I'm a, little bit, a little bit starved. <laughs> so yeah yeah just a little message just a little message a little massage for these uh, terribly evil destructive people we've just been hiding their crimes long enough so that you know I guess some of the regular citizenry is just not hip to this stuff and that's why we're out trying to throw down the science of oh, 411 on the knowledge. Kimberly, you, you rock. Thank you. That's very, very kind. As the days dwindle down to a precious few, September, I, uh, November, and in these few precious days, I'll spend with you. Ooh, ooh, he's closely guarding the door. What happened? Oh, he's a doorman now? All right. A doorman for the man. I thought that was a union job. Gross. Kind of disgusting. So yeah, Texas just uh, eschewing the uh, advances by the labor movement of the early 20th century. Not surprising. Not surprising. Yes, come back, come back to Mortar, we will take you. Yeah, spray chalk. Like, I've got to get hip to this technique. I just, uh, there's so many things that I'm trying to handle on my time off. Um, trying to keep my life together. Go ahead and walk over it if you like. It's not a problem. Spray chalk seems like a cool idea. Rock. Cliff Bar. Little energy. I've been stooping over. Y'all been looking at my underwear. The pervs. So, did we have two people up here? I because. I had one guy minding me in the alley, and it seemed like there was another guard besides this guy that was on he's site. Guard. He's part of the Western Campus Alliance, and they used to be on our side, but I don't know what's happening with them anymore. But he was texting them about us, so I don't know what they're doing. Wow. It does need to be a teacher. Okay. Texting, eh? Right. And that's the power of text. Scientology got to work, 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 work. Because it's such a jerk, 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 jerk. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, the lighting's really changed, huh? Oh. Wow. Oh no, they've got a kid in there. I hate seeing that. Young lives completely ruined by this awful cult. How about it? I hope you hate seeing it too, Mr. Guard. I very much hope you think better about this job at some point and find something better to do with your time than protecting these freaking weirdos. With a gun. Kind of makes it more serious than it needs to be. All the time. I'm not sure how good a shot you are either, so I'm kind of nervous. Or if you've ever drawn in anger. You know, no one wants somebody totally inexper inexperienced to get buck fever, if you know what that is. Something hunters get, you know, especially when they're early, everybody gets it. You line up a shot for your first time, adrenaline rush happens, and you can't stop shaking. Can't stop shaking, heart rate goes through the roof, and you can't hold your gun still. And what happens with that in a tactical situation is the wrong person gets hit a lot because of lack of training, basically. So I just always hope the people around me are actually good with the things that they have, with the tools that they have, because there is like honestly no guarantee I, i'm getting no read off of you that you're a crack shot hell yeah man that came out of nowhere is that a kick flip man heel flip yeah i didn't see i didn't see the i didn't see the beginning of it it was a flip that was that was hot good good heel flip Dig it. Sonia is too deep blowing me, girl. I know. Oof. She's just like, give me away from this Corbin idiot. What a dumb name for a dumb guy with dumb hair. Well, what do you mean? Cor 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 Corbin Dallas? I mean, what are the portos that you know about it? Oh, but you could teach her. Yay! Works for Tanya. Portos for Tanya. I mean, I maybe you like the band Porno for Pyros. Porno for Scientos? Yeah, Porno for Scientos. I mean, you can just sing. You could just sing the the song Pets. It just fits. Maybe Martians will do better than we did. We'll make great pets. We'll make great pets. We'll make great pets. We'll make great pets. See, we know songs and everything. Yeah, I know that one. Jokes and jakes and jibes and jabs. These are the spirits we have for Sienta. Good evening. Hope you're well. Well, sometimes no com comment is more incriminating than a comment. 
I think that's one of those times. Got to fix that. Forgot to spell again. It's been a long day, everybody. Yeah. Stranger danger. Danger, Will Robinson. It's a cult. It sure is. They ruin people's lives, you know. Well, yeah, you don't know uh, a whole lot about Scientology? All right. Would you like to know things? As fast as you can tell me. Oh, it was started by a science fiction writer in the uh, 1950s who was paid by the word. He wasn't making enough money writing science fiction, and so he compiled a bunch of self-help stuff from the early 20th century and released what is called Dianetics. He made a bunch of money off of that, being like, here's a bunch of self-help stuff that basically is common sense. And uh, that wasn't enough, and then he started a religion, made a bunch of upper levels to the religion, and got people to waste all of their time and their money in their entire lives. And they do this to children. Children are born into this um, by parents uh, who are Scientologists. And um, they don't get to know anything about the outside world. They don't get to access the Internet. They don't get to, like, go to regular school. Uh, and they're told not to trust anybody on the outside. And so for children that are born inside, it's very difficult to leave because that, that's been your whole life. And the entire world is foreign to you. And uh, I think your friends went on so uh yeah you have a good day Wait a minute. Do, do you mean bilabial fricatives? I think she meant bilabial fricatives. What'd you call me? A little touch of sense. <coughs> Sorry, hard to sing Cinderella leaning over. <coughs> oh, wow. Here we go. All of the officers. This one, I think, likes to cross draw. 
is a very, very odd position for a holster. It's very unique. That couldn't, you couldn't do it with that hand. It, that would be a cross, I think. Oh, he's very nice. Uh, thank you. Oh, wow, we've got a whole gaggle of geese out here. Squawking and a-talking. Protecting a child trafficking cult for money. Maybe the least honorable thing that you could have chosen to do as somebody that's trying to do public safety. Consent! consent. Child auditing is abuse! Oh, so we've got one on each door now? Wow. Full service. Full service reach around for the cult. Way to go. How's, it, how's that going? Full service cult reach around? Is that what we're doing? This very small one threatened me. And so... We've got the Hunchback of Scientology, Mr. Crossy, Crossy Arms McGee. Why are we protecting a child trafficking cult tonight? Why are we doing it? Oh, we've got pantyhose tech. It's sheer. It's clear. It's everything that you wanted and more. Look at all those books. All of the books. And so we've got all these little stations and all these little information booths. And we've only we've got those three people in there. Right? Okay. And so here we're gonna take care of yourself. Well, like I got down to do not steal, be trust, be worthy of trust, fulfill your obligations, be industrious, be competent. Respect the religious beliefs of others. Well, they definitely don't do any of those things. So, Okay, that kid's back inside. That kid's back inside. He's spending a lot of time in the org. Maybe these ladies are being really nice to him. I'm worried for this kid's safety, really. Uh, doesn't seem like they're going to help. What are y'all doing? So they've brought him back. No, now they've brought him back back. They got him a glass of water. So this is the gentleman, I believe, that uh, we were speaking to in the alley. If I have it correct. I could be wrong. It's hard to tell from here. Backpack, kind of the build is the same. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. They're, they're, they're going to lay it on thick. It's got to feel good if you're, like, you know, lonely, confused. Uh, college student, right? Maybe you're looking for some direction. You got a lot of questions. Those questions are, are painful and confusing. Um, and somebody that offers like a whole bunch of answers, that might feel very, very nice indeed. So, like a big, comfortable drug blanket.
Oh, we're back. Coffin Dodgers with Coffin Nails. All right. And we're going to scuttle back in because, you know, being confronted with uh, opposing ideas is something that masters of communication cannot handle. Although you've trained all this time, how are those gains, though? Right? Got your superpowers? Solve a Rubik's Cube faster, maybe? How about clearing the planet? How's that going? Oh, look at this. Oh, they came out here. Oh, they had their feelings hurt. Oh, they had to wipe down all of my stuff. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. it's what they do everywhere. They do the same thing. And guess what? We'll just come back and put it back up. And uh, that's just that that's our little battle. A power washy washy. Thank you for allowing me to do what exactly I already know that I'm allowed to do. Educational as hell. Absolutely. I would say get another job. Just educational as ever. No, oh, they put a bucket of water on my jaw. <laughs> I just can't handle it, guys. Just can't handle it. My chalk are is it's supposed to be forever. Ooh, the tower is devilish tonight. Oh, guys. They washed my chalk away in the alley. Oh! oh. Those scientists. So have... devastating. Yeah. I know. It's a wonderful little kind of childish game we have going back and forth with the water and the chalk and the chalk and the water. We're having an in-depth security conversation here. Those are the spirits we have around here. Maybe protecting a child trafficking cold is a bad idea. Maybe your families would be ashamed and they don't want to see ya. Protecting child traffickers and criminals. Taking the dirty money from whoever offers it to you. Shows exactly what you are and what you're made of. Because protecting evil, protecting evil, right? What is that? What is protecting evil make you? Evil deeds make what kind of a person? If you're protecting evil, are you doing evil deeds? And do evil deeds make evil people? Yes? No? Stand out on the street protecting child traffickers. I don't know. Sounds pretty evil to me. Don't think I'd take a million dollars to stand where you are right now. Don't think I'd do it. Don't think I'd do it. Not for an hour. And you'll do it for a little, little bit of money. Just a little, tiny little scudge of money. Whatever. Right, guys? Because that's what you got into this kind of profession for, right? Protect child traffickers, right? You know, like a firefighter saving people's lives. You're here saving lives. And I've heard it asserted by uh, many of your uh, ilk uh, from this very company 
you're here to protect us. I have seen zero evidence of that. I've seen you attempting to accuse us of several crimes and laughing at us when we have our lives put at risk as when we were swatted two days ago. And your, uh, your, your commander, I guess, um, roadkill, laughed at us, laughed at us when the long guns showed up, right? He thought it was funny. Thought it was funny. I don't find that humorous. And maybe if this is the guy that's running your stuff, maybe get another boss and another job. Because maybe this guy doesn't know his ass from his elbow and is leading you down well, a negative path. Being, like, being long ago, hilarious. Oh, it's hilarious. Right? Well, him and Princess could laugh about it with their Yeah, it's really, it's... Well, it, it, sad, they had to their oh. Yeah, I mean, I guess Robin Williams couldn't top that as an act, right? Just so funny. You know, swatting doesn't result in death in the United States, like, all the time or not. Not at all, right? So it's super funny, right? A har har? No, no witty rejoinders this time? You don't have any threats? You don't have any legal advice for us anymore? You're just, you're a clammed up doorman at this point? You're just going to kind of take it, take it on the chin? Eat it raw. All that stuff. I'll, I'll eat some raw cashews. I'd fall out though. I don't even do it on camera. I'll eat it with my mouth open. Ah! I like the bell. That was a classic old bell. I love how Dan approaches. That's a real soft approach. Look out, that elderly troll doll means business. He has a gun. It has to be approaching your bedtime. Right. Sweet. I have something very interesting to tell you. What a difference a day makes, everyone. We're going to have some fun. But the rest of all this first. I mean, holy Moses. Sorry, y'all. It was an earthquake. It was an earthquake. I swear. I was trying to close up on Dan because I just, I love the determination. This is like this standoff classic matchup we have here between Dan Wong's and uh, Agent Trolldoll. Coming here to give us legal advice about things that he's not really clear on. Make wild assertions given to him by known liars with no evidence. Let's see what happens. Oh. So we've got got this. We've got guy, you know, he's he's warming his hands in his tactical vest like all of these people. To me, it's a sign of uh, insecurity. You bring your hands close to your body for warmth, for comfort, you're self-soothing. Self-soothing kind of uh, behaviors. Uh, common if you look at uh, body language analysis.
sweetheart. Hi, sweetheart. It's a beautiful dog. Thank you. Yes. I was just curious. Hello. That's nice. You got everything. Wow. What what uh what breed of dog is this? It's a corgi. It is a corgi. Interesting coloring. Yeah. So Dan is uh he's kind of broken through here a little bit, I think. Uh this is the longest anybody is uh been able to take this posture um i think it's a new character and perhaps it's there's enough people with enough angles <laughs> yeah we're making a catalog I mean, I think they're think they're gonna storm it. Yeah, he's he's a very good guy. Well, yeah, I've been a police officer for over twenty nine years, having earned my master police officer certification, in Texas, two thousand seventeen. I'm a certified trainer, many law enforcement okay. <laughs> quotes. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. World kills number two, absolutely. Uh, tell the old yeah, his uh, pants are baggy and sloppy. Well, they're tactical. You know, he's he's dressed for movement. I, I, I let's see, Dan lulling him in. Well, he's nicing him too into submission. He's just now, now it's it's phone on phone action. Here we go. He's we're we're the meeting of the phones. Everybody, phone now. Oh yeah. What a serious person that is. Serious leather, serious chains, serious clothing. Oh, wow. Came up behind me there. All right. Is this a uh, triangulation here? I'm just coming up to check on them. It's coming to let you know. I'd have to say this is looking like one of the least fulfilling most useless security details I've ever experienced. Maybe overkill. Maybe a little overkill. Maybe that shows perhaps uh, what these people are all on about. Which is not goodness. Which is uh, threatening people with violence and ruining their lives to get their way. Because this organization that you're protecting, they're a bunch of bullies. They bully the people inside, they bully the people outside, and if you cross them, they'll do it to you too. And they'll never leave you alone. You got that right. You got that right. And those are the kinds of spirits we have here, here in Austin. Scientology sucks. I mean, it is obvious. Oh, yeah. Do a little dance here, sir. Yeah, a little do-si-do. To and fro. Woo! Let's see if you're moving from the page, just for the record. So, let's do this first. Yeah, come on, let's do this. Twerktology! You know, I figured that. There's my friend Tanya! Ooh, Tanya! We want to see Tanya. Where's Tanya? That sounds great. Oh, I can't see her. Mo Larry. Oh, where'd Curly go? Is he back in the alley? 
Okay, now the light has changed. Good day. Or evening. It is night now. And we've gone back. Uh, what's going on at this building? This is, uh, this is, oh, well, um, I mean, we're just here protesting Scientology because they destroy lives, but, uh, no, they've called out this, uh, private security firm and they've got three people out here tonight to make sure that we don't write chalk in the wrong place. I, you know, that's all we're going to do. We're here with our cameras and they're here with their guns. How do they destroy people's lives? Oh, well, in a, in a number of ways, um, well, first of all, uh, their philosophy is totally bunk. Um, this was a, a, a come up with by a, a science fiction writer in the 1950s who uh, got paid by the word. And so he wasn't, it was like Pulp Fiction stuff, the, the worst science fiction you've ever heard of. And um, wasn't making enough money doing that. Told his first wife that in order to kind of make money, wanted to start a religion. Started like a self-help group, uh, borrowing from self-help techniques from the first part of the 20th century and he compiled all this stuff in 1955 re, re, uh, released the book Dianetics uh, Dianetics you may have heard of it it's like the the first thing that they try to have you read in Scientology and made a ton of money off of people like a bunch of seekers the brokenhearted it's 1955 so it's like 10 years after World War II the world almost just ended you know the hydrogen bomb had just been invented people were uh, building bomb shelters all over the place. People thought the world was going to end right there. And so like, a, yeah, so a lot of gurus, exactly. A lot of people that gave a number of people like total answers for everything in life made a mint off of a lot of broken and fearful people. And since then, this is what Scientology has existed as. Um, the, the, one, of the, one of the worst things that they do as far as ruining people's lives is children that are born into this uh, they don't have any choice, you know, and and they're filled with this philosophy and don't get to learn about the, the outside world. They don't get like access to the Internet, like everything that they do is 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 watched morning, noon and night. And if you get high enough into Scientology, into what they call the Sea Organization, the Sea Org, which is like their monastic order, they have you sign. It's not a religion. They, they, ha they have you sign a billion year contract. Right. They have teenagers teenagers were born into this sign a billion year contract saying that they're going to come back lifetime after lifetime to serve Scientology with all of their days and these kids who are signed up for the sea organization they work like 17 hour days five six days a week they get paid 47 dollars a week so so yeah they ruin lives they ruin a lot of lives and that's just the kind of the tip of the iceberg I've, most of us out here are inspired by the um, stories of survivors who have escaped this, uh, who are on online telling their stories right now. Uh, YouTube, check out um, channels uh, that say SPTV, yeah. as, uh, Suppressive Persons, is a label that they give enemies of the church. And so we've taken that term of abuse and kind of just, we've, you know, appropriated it. Um, and so, yeah, SPTV, it's uh, the biggest one is Aaron Smith Levin growing up in Scientology. He's got like almost 250 subs, uh, two, no, 250,000 subs, sorry. Um, and uh, yeah, for more information, I would check that out first. And then like there's there's a ton of stuff online. Anonymous, I don't know if you know uh, the, the hacker group Anonymous. In 2008, they released a lot of their secret stuff. It's still up on WikiLeaks right now. It's up there right now, so. Right, well, I'll have to check it out, man. Cool. Right. Thank you for your time and attention. No, I already know all about that. I just, I oh, wicked. What's going on with, like, this side of the building. Oh, right on. Well, so, you know, since we're posted up out here, um, and they've got all the security right here, they're trying to get everybody out the door on this side. And so, if you don't have somebody, like, on all the doors, they try to do all of their in-and-out activity where you're not looking. And so, I've been ranging, you know, from the front to the back, and putting down some chalk and putting the, putting the camera on people going in and out of the org and, uh, and questioning them as to what they think they're doing and, you know, maybe giving them a suggestion that they could do something better with their lives. Absolutely. Absolutely, you too. Are you a medical professional? You're scrubbed up here.
have Shadow Doctor before, and so there's a costume party I'm attending. Oh hell yeah! Um, yeah, I'm going as a dog. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, good luck to you. Goal, though, to be a dog. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, good luck. That's a long road. Absolutely. Thanks, yeah. yeah you too. Okay. Just want to let you know that there's anything else that you could be doing with your lives other than this that would actually be helpful. If you want to help people in the world, volunteer your time at a soup kitchen at a homeless shelter, at a prison, at a school, where you can actually help people. Scientology does not help people. If you wish to help people, get your hands dirty and leave the cult. This child trafficking, extortionate, blackmailing, wire mail, and securities frauding cult oh please leave the cult now oh please ow oh mr dalmatavikus ow ow leave the cult now i don't know can i do it i'm not sure oh 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 all right didn't even see Hello, everybody. Oh, no, it didn't really work. It still says cult, kind of. And it says it's a very well. Okay. So perhaps they, they, they won't throw a bucket on me, but perhaps they will. Who knows? Oh, God. Lorraine Bassett, what do you mean? Who who assaulted Jessica? In the vest pocket. Well, they're probably they're probably recording off of that. I'm guessing. Invisible artwork seen only when it gets wet. Oh, rain works. I'll look into that. Thank you, Martha. Jock in a spray can. Yeah, but. Are you saying they just assaulted Jessica Palmadessa again? In the United States, uh, hard to say. Seemingly, they don't have much more than 30,000 members globally, uh, people that are active in the, uh, in the cult. Although, they, they will claim... Oh, yeah, yeah, it was the one before, okay. Um, they will claim... Uh, a lot more than that, obviously. It's not true. Um, well, they'll claim a whole lot of stuff, won't they? So, it's not surprising. Uh, it's a bit interbulating, though. I'll tell you. I'll just... Ah, yes. Making sure I don't...
Okay. Is that a... Uh, is that sound back on then? Are we back? Yeah, I'm switching mics. Did it work? Hell yeah. Thank you for the heads up. That was very, very handy indeed. I would have uh, not seen that for some time. I'm glad that I even looked. Because I don't do that. Either. Hurrah. Oh no, Gimbal. Thank you, Kimberly. Oh, wow. What is this? Juicy Bruce. Have fun tonight. Thanks for all you do. $5. Thank you very much, Juicy this Bruce. Great question, Corey. I'm going to go get smashed after this. So we're going to have... Uh, very handy. Yeah. How do you think it became separated? What? How did it become separated from the body? I think just being in the back and like all of our shit on top of it, you know? Oh, D Flawless, thank you very much. I might be returning to uh, LA at some point soonish. Um, I'll keep you all updated. Definitely at Oh, coming up from behind the desk. Once you pop, you can't stop. Anybody lip read? That's exactly what I was hoping if somebody could lip read. Otherwise, I'm just dubbing over it myself. Oh, it'll be great. Like it'll be great. I mean, yeah, not a lot, but they are routing people through the back and through the side. That's where most of the action is in and out of the building. And that's why I've been trying to range around it as they've been trying to Sorry, do most of their business. Oh, no, no. I mean, it's part of the entertainment, but I got past it. I got past you. I did. It wasn't all ass all the time. But it wasn't none. Tan Joby! Let's see some more uh, cat art. Where did it all go? Where has all the cat art gone? It's off your page. 
and on the lawn. Did it get breathed on a big dragon and burned to a, a crisp? Where's your social media now? You dance around like a thousand cows. And funny how this frowns on your brow. I've looked at Scientology from both sides now, from up and down and through somehow. It's just a child trafficking cult. I really think all the birds should molt. It's, you know, it's not any of the children's fault. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. No, app, you, you got missed. The speaker remained up there and remained off. Maybe they were advised that they were breaking all the noise ordinances and they were going to get ticketed if they did it again. <laughs> yeah, be a bore. Be a snore. Be a bore. Slap the hand that feeds you. Be a bore. Be a bore. Don't take responsibility for what you do. Be a snore. It's all a chore. So again, I pointed this out. This this cross, I mean, certainly for any Christian, absolutely an aberration to use the most holy symbol in one of the world's largest uh, religions there in this way, just completely appropriated. And also, if anybody has played the game Bioshock Infinite, it looks really a whole lot like all of the regalia from that. Children cannot consent. Good evening. Hope you're well. Good evening. A little Springer Spaniel in your step. How's business, boys? You getting a lot of through traffic or just a lot of geeks a gawking at you? Using up your time. A bunch of curious college students, maybe you ensnare one or two of them, but it's not going to be enough to keep this cult alive. This church, so-called, is dying. Slow. Bleeding out, bleeding out members, bleeding out respect. Get out while you still can, while maybe you could reclaim a shred of your dignity and humanity. It's never too late to change, even for octogenarians like that good man and that septuagenarian there. Don't mean to be ageist, just meaning to be accurate. So, I mean, does it not look like you are on a sinking ship right now, manning a ghost ship with a skeleton crew? I mean, maybe your fart will go on, but I'm, you know, maybe not a heart to speak with or for or anything. Maybe not a heart. A, a brain, the knife. We're off to see Elwin Hubbard, the Hubbardest Hubbard of all. He is, he is a real jerk. If ever a jerk, their walls. If ever and ever a jerk, their walls. Elwin Hubbard is one because he balls, he balls, he balls, he balls, he balls, he balls. Because of all of his withholds and stalls. Ba, 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 ba. 
Dude, I'll put you right with her. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I was like, I don't know, my tongue. I was like, I got you. I got you. <laughs> There is a coffin for us, a velvet lined cough. Don't dodge the coffins, guys. Happens to the best of us. No implant station is in your future. I mean, what, there isn't a course on uh, janitorial arts? Come on. Janitorial rundown? That's right. <laughs> the JRD. They need the JRD bad right here. Yeah. WJRD in Cincinnati. All right. For all you olds. I mean, all up in the club, all full of bub. I'm not sure about the next line. I kind of stopped there. So, a lot of weak jaws and strong chins. It's, it's an interesting look. Good evening. Hope you're well. Oh, janitorial rundown sends Dan on as it dance. SP says, Yeah. Okay. Thank, thanks, Jen. So, wow. This is like a Methuselian staff member here. This is the, the head guy in charge. You can tell because of the piping. How are the stats today, guys? Tallying up all those numbers, is it going to take all night? How long is it going to take to do the receipts? Your drawer just overflowing? Made all those contacts today, eh? Oh, yeah. No, I mean, he's got his jacket unbuttoned now, but he's got the special pin on his jacket. In no, yeah, you're closer. Maybe, uh, maybe you got it. I mean, it's a, like a nice little badge. We don't need no stinking badgers. This time, Sciento Cold rocked ya. A silver cross instead of a swastika. Nothing proper about your propaganda. Fools follow rules when the set commands ya. Said it was blue when the blood was red. That's how you got Sciento blasted through your head. Blasted through your head, blasted through your head. I call a shout out to the living dead. How's it go? Ing. Okay, now now we're down to business. We gotta crunch those numbers. Crunchy crunch. It's like granola. <laughs> gotta crunch those numbers. It's the hard work, sweat of the brow. 
we've been we've been slaving over a hot org all day, and a hot mess org. Exactly. <laughs> you bet. Some some real characters in here. Some real geeks. I just hope you guys know that uh, there are much better things to do with your time. You're wasting your lives giving it to this cult that will do nothing good with any of your time and your efforts besides extract more money out of more people. And perhaps not even that successfully. Like if I dropped a dollar, do you think they would all run and try to... Oh, dang it. They would be like, oh my god, finally! We got some in income. Flunking. Yeah, this whole org is a, a falunk. I mean, if things weren't so desperate in the church, I think you'd all be on the RPF. All right. Gotta pack it up, guys. Gotta pack a pack. Whoa. Didn't mean to do. Oh, shit. Oh, oh damn it. All right, y'all. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Hard to hear on the street. can live outside of this dumbass cult. You can live by doing anything that's more worthwhile than this. You can live outside of this child trafficking predatory cult. Please, if you want to help people do anything in this world, volunteer at a soup kitchen, guys. You can live doing anything other than this. Maybe you should just try. Go look on the internet and figure out if there's something to better do with your life before you die. You can live in freedom and in peace. Just get the hell away from this cult and everything that LRH says. Um, Reese? Uh, yeah. You can give of yourself to a lot of better things. I mentioned a soup kitchen. You could go volunteer at a school or a million other stuff. You could go to a prison and minister to the prisoners there. You could do that. Or go to a school. Those kids definitely need some help after a freaking pandemic. Bravo. Yay. Encore. You can. Anything other than this child trafficking cult, baby. All right, y'all. Yes, beautiful. Yes. There she is. Hey, girl. We've been hanging out here. 
while they're sweating over a hot org. They're not doing much in there. They're not selling any books or any courses. Honestly, we're all getting bored. They try to get their kids up in here. They try to sell them a book. What they don't understand is that these kids are too damn smart for that shit. They won't give it a second look. And so why do they try every day? Don't we have heard all the things they're gonna say? So at the end of the day, we might say, Scientology, pay up, pay up, get up. Get all those e-meters and books into a truck. Drive that truck off onto a 14er and get it stuck. With the, everybody in this org now together. Pack, pack it up. Pack it up, boys. Pack up Scientology forever. F Sciento till the last org falls forever. And all that jazz. Pack it up. All right. Didn't do a whole lot of singing today, but uh, threw it in there at the end. Thanks, y'all. Yeah, Margaret, um, I, yeah, I try not to. Um, sometimes, you know, they're coming in and out and got to just take it off. All right. That might be the shift. All right. Let's do a little perimeter check. See what's going on. See what's going around around the corner, and then I'm going to I'm gonna pack it up. So uh, everybody that's been here, everybody that's here now, thank you very much. Thank you very much for backing us up, for your support. Um for uh, supporting all the channels that you do, for supporting this movement. Uh, we're all made safer by your presence and um, by your action, obviously. Um, this guy seems all right, but um, a lot of these people are trying to get us hurt, trying to get us arrested, trying to uh, harm us in a variety of ways. And so uh, absolutely, uh, your presence, your support, watching these channels keeps us far, far, far safer than they would, when than we would otherwise be. And, uh, for that, for all of you, uh, my deepest thanks. Um, like we're having fun out here right now, but honestly, like this gets really scary. This stuff gets really scary. Okay, so we got two people in this back office. I haven't seen that emblem before. I guess this individual is going to look right at me. So you really shouldn't be giving your life to this cult, you know. Um, 
They, they don't mean to anybody any good. And they actually don't help anybody. Right? They actually just injure a bunch of people. Wow, some real drama with the papers here. Real drama. But you may be aware that you're not clearing the planet. You know, that the planet is not currently being cleared, nor was it ever. And that your efforts are going to a nothing. To something that exists to make David Miscavige money. And perhaps nobody else. And to enslave, unfortunately, people like yourselves to work for next to nothing for a child trafficking cult. If you can hear me, I don't know that you can, but in the possibility that you can, I would so very much try to recommend upcoming events. Upcoming events. Oh, they have a whole calendar up there. It's don't give them your real name. Don't give them your information. It's a child trafficking cult. Tanya! Nice. That was like a bell. Your little Mr. Proud and Brave being like, oh, they do horrible things, but don't bother. Oh, no. Yeah, that's uh, right. Public sidewalk. Indeed. It sure is. Hey, y'all, we having a little party. But, oh, but we're going to take them out the super secret back way rather than deal with uh, us in turbulated squirrels. We're so interbulated. Come on, y'all. Are we, are, are we going to take the alley? Are we going to take a little smoky, smoky, breaky, breaky? Achy, breaky? Cough. The cult is showing! Coffin nails for coffin dodgers? Is... We have some more questions, I guess. On the literature. Here's what Scientology can do for you today. Call and act now. Watch. She's probably recruiting. No, yeah, absolutely. This is recruiting in action. We're watching somebody getting triple teamed by Scientologists on the data. That is their property. I would just... That is their property. A little youthful hijinks. See you later. How we doing over here? Hello! Scientology! Hello, everybody! Oh, okay. Sorry. Hope you're well. They didn't wash off the second one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe it seems futile now. As we're still here, I like the futility. I like that it has become kind of a non-issue. But they're like, oh, this is too stupid. Maybe we're not. You have a good night. Oh, but they tried so hard. They tried and failed. They tried and died. Yes. The Reverend Mother Gaius Helen Mohim anybody knows what I'm talking about shout out the author playing drum and sci-fi now <laughs> okay so we've done a little perimeter they're still doing their interbulated dirty stuff call me interbulated you're interbulated this whole system's interbulated.
Please do not give your actual information to this predatory cult. I think we're all preparing to leave. We're having, we're saying our goodbyes. We're, we're very proud to have, have learned about LRH and how to communicate better, how to be better people, how to not be completely interbulated, how to word clear. Who knows? We may have learned all of the skill sets to get us through the next seven trillion years. Yes. Uh, cause I'll tell you, as LRH, I've, uh, I've uh, slept with uh, bandits in Mongolia, and I've, uh, I've slept with bandits in Mongolia, and I've, uh, I've slept with bandits in, yes, I've slept with bandits in Mongolia, and I've, uh, I've slept with bandits, that's right, that's my LRH. So we're just kind of hanging out by the door, having a bunch of Laffy Taffy. <laughs> Right here, we're laughing it up, fuzzballs, trying to get him out of the out of the building. How are we going to escape the building? Oh, are we going out the front? Or are we going out the back? Okay, so down the hallway, walkie walkies, walkie talkies. Uh, no more stockies, and they take a lift. You won't escape me. What eagle lurks in the hearts of people? The shadow knows. Oh, yeah, trying to body route people out the back. All right, here we go. Uh, yeah, well, they, I guess Hurdley tried to get a bucket out here and didn't do the whole job. I replaced the cult. Ah, they did wipe that out. Yeah, yeah, I replaced that. I just hadn't gotten around to the child traffickers yet. You see? Did you have to oh, it, oh, you don't want to come out that door either? Oh, geez. How are you going to get these people out without listening to the ideas critical of Scientology? What are you to do? Indeed, I know. What are you? Because they ordered him to. Because they're trying to find a way to get these people out of the building without confronting any criticism of Scientology. And we're hopefully not going to allow that to happen. So uh, we'll do what we can. I guess double back, right? Double back. Maybe you could go out this uh, this door here. Good evening. Oh, it's the blue and white. So here we go, finally. You, you are aware that you were just speaking to a predatory cult, right? And that they, 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 they traffic children. And they're involved in a, like a whole host of federal crimes. Blackmail, extortion, wire fraud, tax fraud, securities fraud. They're currently under investigation for the abuse of two protected classes, children and the elderly. Do not give your name, your support, your information, or any of your money or your time to this predatory organization. What the fuck are the cops doing here? What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Oh, it's university police? Okay. Well, that makes more sense. What the fuck are the blue and whites? What is this? What is this? What is going on? Here? We're spotted again. We just got spotted. Oh, wonderful. Not that, they're not, they're, they know that it's not the issue. The police have, are not the issue. No, I, it's, 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 it's still freaking crazy dangerous, isn't it? I mean, how many times are these gonna, guys going to lie about us, lie on us, and get, that one right there. And get, that and Every get armed guards 
sicked on us. I pay taxes, they don't. It's now it's two, been here all night two protest day. days in a row Absolutely that we've been nothing. swatted. Two in a row. I haven't seen the long guns out tonight. But like, this is policing in America. No, this is Scientology in America. It's both. I just have to say, I've had no issues with the ATD, and I've appreciated their response every time. So just please know that. I haven't appreciated the guns. I don't appreciate the Scientology cult, but APD has been really great to me with one exception that I haven't seen that guy again, so I don't care. What was his name? Uh, he's a old the older guy you see on the day of the opening and he was this is ridiculous a like woman. how much public money is being spent right here how many officers making six figures are on the scene right now for this there's real crime happening in these towns this ain't it but every single one of these calls comes with the risk of death I don't take it casually. I can't take it casually. I won't take it casually. Way too many people die in the United States from this. So I'm guessing a complete non-issue, right, guys? Another false call? Every time it's Russian roulette for us, right? And so what of it? Right? No investigation on the calls, seemingly, on these false calls. No follow-up, just our lives put at risk over and over again. Thank you, you too. I don't think so. Not going to have a good night after that. Look at this flippant weirdo. Finger tech. Feel my finger. Feel my finger. Hey, girl. Oh, you guys don't want to look up? Are you just too much of a coward? Shit. Too much Absolutely of a coward to look up shit. after we got swatted? We were leaving. Huh? Can't look somebody in the eye that you just put their lives at risk? Can't do it? We were having such a good time. Yeah. <laughs> Cowards. Well, it's these cowards. They're assholes. You're doing a bunch of your fake work, calling people. To every yeah. Every Way to go, guys. Nice look. Okay, I saw you kind of meet my gaze there for Great half work. a second. Great work. Great work. Hope you're proud. From me to you. That's the second in two, two days in a row. They're on a streak. Shit. All right, y'all. I really didn't expect that. Didn't expect that as an ending. Oh, pretty much. Just right at the end, maybe when our guard is down. You know, when we're going to make a mistake, when we're tired, when we're interbulated, or whatever else they think we might be. They're trying to take advantage. And another swing and a miss. Another swing and a miss. 
but that doesn't mean that one of these times it ain't going to actually hit the mark. And what I'm afraid is that when and if that happens, because we're playing Russian roulette all over and over again with swatting, is that one of us is going to end up seriously hurt or in the ground, and it's going to scare everybody else off of the movement, off of the block. And so for those reasons, I think we need better legal protection in this movement. Better than what we have, which is absolutely nothing. So, kind of getting sick of uh, being a kite. As like from the first day, I was upset about being flown like a kite on the streets of Chicago for the benefit of a few. Uh, and I, th I think that's st that analysis still stands. It's not a matter of uh, if, but when. So the numbers are going to just run out. You can't be swatted this this, this number of time. Can't be swatted this much without it just happening. Here we go, the full fucking service. Fire and swatting. I've had this happen to me in two cities. Two cities. What a waste. I'm very sorry that you were called to this. Very sorry that you were ever called to this. The police were just here on a fake call and they've called you as well. This is a waste of public resources on an extreme level. Uh, you are obvious heroes and lifesavers. I am sorry that you are here. I'm sorry that any of you have been woken up to do this non-job for this non-call. So multiple ladders, Mul multiple ladders. This isn't one station. This is multiple firehouses. What happens if there's an actual fire in Austin? What happens? So that's one, two, three, one around, around the corner is four, four trucks. It's a disgusting waste of public resources. And of the time of, like, obviously you guys are freaking heroes. This is ridiculous. Shame on you, Scientology! Shame! Sorry that you guys have to be here for this non-call. 
thank you for the work that you do. This isn't going to be the work. How about stop making these false calls, Scientology? How about not waste any more of the resources of the city of Austin? What the heck are you joking about? Because obviously Scientology is making these calls. A bunch of liars and fakes. How much money is this costing? This response, this many officers, this many ladder trucks, what does this cost? Is this half a million dollars right here for this hour? Half a mil maybe? A nice house? So nothing, I'm guessing. Thanks for what you do. I'm, I'm sorry that you got woken up for this. This ain't nothing. You guys are obviously heroes. Freaking super dangerous job. There needs to be a serious investigation of Scientology making these calls. So that one, that one, that one, and that one. Holy smokes, and there's another couple. One, two, three, four, five, six, six trucks, pump truck, ladder truck, ladder truck. Ladder truck pump. It's the whole damn block. This seems like a gross overreaction, right, guys? Maybe an insane overreaction. I mean, is this entirely sane? Or, like, is this something that you'd want to be doing with your professional experience? Or is this something to be investigated so as to nip it in the bud so it never happens again? I would say never happens again let's try to do that every town same shit and they I mean most places they buy off the cops Los Angeles they are the Biggest no, contributor to LAPD. Oh no, they're great. Yeah. No, they're they're way better, way better than Chicago, way better than Denver, way better than LAPD. As far, in my experience with protesting Scientology, they're reasonable. They don't want to be here. They want they don't want to look at us. It's I mean it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. Yeah, and these poor guys like the I mean. This is like a super dangerous job, like 10 years off your lifespan, pretty much. You 
you know, you sign up as a firefighter. And these tools are like, they're just using them like a toy to, to go after us. So thanks for being a reasonable person today. No, you, you definitely did. Thank you very much. Um, hopefully we'll have better interactions than this. This is, uh, I really hope the city of Austin gets wise to this and investigates these calls and nails who, who, whoever's doing this. Well, just a not sound accusation or whatnot. I just hope that Correct. Oh, me too. Whether it's them or someone else or whoever. I don't care who it is. It's, it's actually, I'm pretty sure it is a legally punishable offense if it falls back Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, swatting. Is that punishment? No, no, I don't know either, but I, I do believe swatting should be enhanced to something akin to attempted homicide because it is about that deadly. And if you can prove mens rea, if you can prove uh, that you willfully wished harm, uh, malice, upon people, then it should be attempted homicide. Kind of, you should do a dime, basically, like at a max. So how'd it go at the org today? We're having a little powwow after action report. You're proud of yourselves? Thanks again. All right, y'all. So that was good. That was a bit of intense right at the end there, wasn't it? I don't know where all my buddies went. I was not going to leave for that. No reason to. No reason to let, like, you know, when Ertis Johnson assaulted Jay, to let the streets just be owned by Scientology after that. No good reason. <clears throat> I was not going to be intimidated off the block. I also was a little chagrined to find myself fairly alone. Another city, another swatting. So... You know, I don't care whatever the, like, what you think, what the definition is, you'll bite yourself. If you don't think that's swatting, you can, you can take a long walk off a short pier, pretty much, in my book. So, yeah, I was pretty, pretty angry about, uh, about all this. Uh, you know, my, my reaction is fight, generally to stuff like that, not flight. And uh, it's going to take a while for this adrenaline to wear off. Some food and drink will do great. Um, thanks, y'all. Thanks for being here. Um, thanks for supporting uh, everything that's going on in this movement, all the streamers, especially the survivors, uh, who, like, we're all out here in support of and in defense uh, of them and hopefully to bring anybody else out that can be brought out. Here we go, loop de loo So I was freaking wild. That was fun. So. So that was a real thing. Um, yeah, they uh, first uh, put out a SWAT call for a shooting uh, for us protesters. And we had an armed police response, like, I don't know, like about a dozen cops. And then uh, they called the, uh, the fire department and it's like five trucks and another round of, I don't know, 10 other officers within 10 minutes of each other two false calls really? yeah to try to get us hurt try to kill us wow. Sorry about that. I didn't that's what they do to us in every town i've been to four, four? every town
So that was just messed. Um, yeah, I just, uh, I can't take, um, I can't take these things lightly. I can't take them without comment. I can't take them without angry comment, um, without um, displaying, demonstrating, if you will, my displeasure at such things. And not to just be like, oh, oh it's nice. It's, it's okay, because it's not. It's not. Like, being nice to the people that show up, it's like, oh, I understand. Like, uh -huh. You also, you have to show that it pisses you off, that it's actually dangerous, that there's something to be changed here, that it's not just a mild annoyance, that it's not just an inconvenience, but a deadly threat against all of us as people, as human beings, trying to roll the dice one more time and end our lives. So, um... All right, so we're about to uh, we're about to hang out. It's gonna be good and do uh, our own after action report and uh, get weird, get wild. Um, again, thank you for uh, thank you for everything today. Thanks for hanging out, supporting us, watching our backs. Um, Y'all are really some of the only people that. Uh, since we are so small in number, we're not like, you know, 100 strong or even 40 strong on these streets and can have enough people to like watch our backs. You are watching our backs. So please keep showing up, doing your thing. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, I've, I've got links. I've got a thing. I've got all the things. I certainly need help getting myself back to the East Coast. Any and all help that you can give will be much appreciated, but just make sure that you can actually afford it. Don't want to be taking anybody's last nickel. Um, and with that, I'm going to sign off and sign off after uh, an interbulated day. I, don't, I lost my box of fucking chalk. God damn it. God damn it. I don't want to litter. I don't want to fucking litter. God oh, damn it. So we're walking back. I just, um, I really don't like a lot of what happened here. Um, I don't like a lot of it. So they didn't lay us on the ground. They're nice enough not to do that. And so, you know, you might think just, you know, if it's a gun to your head only that you've been swatted. No. People showing up, armed response, special <coughs> weapons, and tactics. Oh, thank you very much from the lens. From the lies. Free from lies. Rest fund, four ninety nine. Thank you very, very much very much love and like learning and loving and liking with you so that was a weird life but yeah I feel like I've uh, I've littered I don't want to do that I just want to make sure that I didn't because I don't have it in my hand I'm just I'm upset and uh, in this state I'm gonna forget stuff I'm gonna make mistakes I'm uh, going to act through emotions, and th those aren't going to be terribly reasonable. And so uh, I'm trying to remind myself of that by uh, talking to myself and uh, as a form of self-soothing. Oh, it's going to be okay. It's going to be all right. It's going to be okay. That kind of thing. But, uh, you know, I don't want to be seen to, to be untoward or, you know, not doing the right thing or, I don't really seem to be that way. Yeah, I'm not a, not too much of a fan of all of this.
Yeah, thanks for nearly getting us killed tonight. Two swatting calls in a week. Shame on you, Scientologist. Shame on you. Fucking tool. Two in a week. So yeah, here we are walking, docking. Just want to make sure. Don't want to be a heel. Don't want to be a jerk. Don't want to be somebody that doesn't seem like they're willing to work. Don't want to be sly. Don't want to just try. I want to stick a metaphorical stick or needle into the eye of Psy and Toe. Don't you know? They've got nothing to show. Oh, bro. So slow. Oh, I like this. I like this very much. Away from the property! Actually, if you look up, Why did you just yell at this person like that? Pardon? Why did you just yell at this person like uh, you're a prison guard? Uh, that, that didn't seem entirely reasonable command to me, to a citizen. Doesn't seem like he's on the property to me. For what? He's on a public sidewalk. He was on the property earlier, but you were here earlier on the Are you are you serious? Like you're on my side of the freaking back seat? Is that what we're doing? Is this seriously that's what we're doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like I mean it sounded like you were gonna, you know, do something real serious as you have a gun. I really didn't like the way you spoke to that citizen. I thought we were friends. Leave this cult. Leave this child trafficking extortionate cult with the rest of the life that you still have. You can change at any time. How's clearing the planet going? How's it going? How are those gains? Yeah, right. Making sure, right? The watchers watch watching the watchers here. Here we go. Watch watching witch watchers. That's real Susian. We're getting real meta here. Yeah. Thanks for calling the cops, you jerks. Yeah, it's a nice blue. It's very blue. Oh, it has a spoiler and anything. Oh, gross, gross, gross. That's all the way interbulated. A person was demonstrating their right to be in public. You done fucked up that time. I don't like you anymore. I thought we were friends with that security guard and then he barked at somebody with uh, skin much darker than mine. I think he didn't see him as much as a human. That's my impression. Okay, so uh, I don't know where my box of chalk went. Went somewhere. I don't know where any of my possessions are. Seemingly they were taken away, I, you know, kind of unceremoniously. So yeah, walked up to some more bullshit. Like... You know, yes. 
So, you know, that guy, and again, like so many of these people, they try to represent themselves a particular way and don't mean shit. You know, as soon as you turn your back and as soon as they get the opportunity to aggress, to exercise their authority in the way that they see fit, right? However dumb, however racist, however authoritarian, seemingly they're going to do it. You know, path of least resistance for power. So, and what good is it if you're not exercising it, I guess, right? So, huh. So yeah, those guys can play all nice. APD can play all nice. I don't buy it. I don't buy it. Not for one second. Okay. Like, you know, this police force is better than some in Texas. Like, I'm sorry, that's damning by faint praise. You are aware L. Ron Hubbard was completely wrong about cigarettes, right? You know, smoked all those cools, thought you smoke enough cigarettes and you won't get cancer. It's a total lie. Like just about everything else that he said is a total lie. So I'd recommend, perhaps if you could avail yourself of the publicly available information on the internet that's critical of Scientology, you may find a way to get yourself out of this predatory cult and do something useful with your life that actually helps people rather than traffic children internationally into this child trafficking cult. If you want to help people, volunteer at a soup kitchen, at a homeless shelter, at a school, at a prison, the people that actually need help and help them where they are, not just sell them a book, right? What is that? go to Haiti after disasters and you sell people a book. Now Haiti hates Scientology, hates, knows what they are and hates them. So if you think you're doing good in this world by supporting this cult, I can tell you you're not. It's a net negative, net negative for your entire life's work that you're giving to this organization that only wants to take your money, your time, and anybody else's that it can get a hold of. I wish you better days. Oh, uh, yeah. Seems like they're all over the place. Uh, skipping out. Skipping around. Skipping town. Skippy skip. Skippity dippity doo. Yeah. I'm just, I'm livid. You know, I've, I've got a little bit more in the tank. I could talk to Sientos probably in, well into the night. After, uh, after being in the presence of, uh, of all that uh, the city of Austin had to offer as far as emergency services besides, oh, uh, well, there was fire EMS. There wasn't, I, I didn't see EMS EMS. That security guard, from when they tried sneaking out, he used his phone, cops came. Yeah, 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 I saw, yeah, totally. I mean... It looked like it was, I agree, it it appeared to be that, but it could have been anybody, you know. So uh, it definitely seems likely uh, that it was Scientology. Um, uh, yeah, not conclusive. So uh, I guess I lost a box of chalk. I don't, you know, I don't know, whatever. It's five bucks. I just hope I didn't lose anything else. I just, you know, I've been on the road over six weeks now, getting to the point where like, you know, the brain isn't gonna retain everything because you don't have normalcy at all. You don't like, you have regularity in your schedule for anything. Um, and so the brain just gets tired and starts to drop stuff. So 
uh, whenever I lose anything, however minor, kind of, it creates a whole lot of anxiety. Um, it's just anxiety on the road that, you know, you leave something behind even for a split second. You are moving forward to the next town <coughs> and you're never getting it back. And so just uh, having an index of all your stuff and knowing where everything is, uh, keeping it kind of systematized is uh, helpful. Well, yeah, I know, but I think I lost uh, I lost a box of chalk. I, yeah, I saw that she grabbed the stuff, but uh, yeah, 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 I saw that. Yeah, it's just you know, agreed, but it's uh. It's not gonna. It's not gonna. You know, keep me from having that reaction. I mean, I saw, but you know, I needed to check. I needed to double check. Um, so. You know, it's a, just another instance. Like I'm having a different reaction. I'm having my normal reaction to being swatted, <laughs> which is adrenaline fight. Um instead of despondency and uh but it, i mean it's still it's still depressing it's still depressing that this is america this is what we do this is how we do it this is normal normally accepted just this yeah this is just how society is run right so we should get used to it no don't think so not this kid not ever sorry not sorry So uh, I think that's going to be me signing off. Uh, thanks again. Here we go. Like, is this the third or fourth time I've tried to sign off? So thanks again, everybody that's been here, everybody that supports this movement. Uh, keep supporting the channels. Keep supporting the survivors. SPTV, uh, Community, Au General, um, and all the street streamers. So... Uh, until next time, y'all be well. Check out some links if, if you wish. Oh, Liddy Marsh, thank you very much. And read the chat. Uh, Pearl Snappy has your stuff. Thank you. I saw that. Thank you very much, Liddy Marsh. Yeah, they are criminals in a cult. Totally believe that. Okay. Uh, Liddy, absolutely. Thank you. Kyle, everybody that's here. Uh, rock on. Thank you so much to my super awesome mod, Kimberly Sweet, holding it down, making it work, making it just be awesome. All right. Uh, be well. Be good to the ones you love and uh, to everybody else, too, unless um, they're Scientology and then maybe some uh, tough, tough words, some criticism. All right. Squirrel Fest is what's going on. Tune in for Squirrel Fest. See you tomorrow.